Chapter 2901 Menacing Beast Meets Menacing Human Long Chen and the Berserk Blood Mammoth stared at each other. Eventually, Long Chen said, What are you looking at? Hearing his voice, the giant mammoth quivered and took a few steps back. There was a hint of fear in its eyes. The observers were in an uproar when they saw Long Chen scare off such a powerful berserk blood mammoth just like that. Rumor is that higher level devil beasts possess some intelligence. This berserk blood mammoth seems to have sensed something, said an instructor. There were many different kinds of devil beasts, and not all of them were brainless. Some had an intelligence not inferior to humans. Seems like the ominous beast has encountered an ominous human, said Luo Ning. A mutated devil beast's intelligence is a bit higher than an ordinary devil beast. Otherwise, it wouldn't have abandoned Mu King Gaian who repeatedly injured it to kill others. But it truly is incomprehensible why it's so afraid of Long Chen, said Luo Bing, feeling shocked. Just what was Long Chen hiding? Either listen to my orders, or die. Choose, said Long Chen. The berserk blood mammoth quivered, seemingly struggling. In the end, it knelt down and lowered its head, its long trunk forming a bridge. Long Chen smiled and then slowly calmed the raging dragon blood in his body. Just now, he had unleashed his dragon might to suppress this berserk blood mammoth. He had only been testing it out and hadn't expected it to be so effective. The dragon might was still so useful in the immortal world. In front of countless shocked gazes, Long Chen trod over the mammoth's trunk to the top of its head. Even Mu King Gaian and the others were dumbfounded. Kill them. When Long Chen gave an order to the berserk blood mammoth, it instantly stood and roared, turning to charge through the other beasts. With its giant body, it was like a war chariot blasting through mice. Those beasts were unable to receive a single blow from it. Its tusks glowed, and everywhere they went, blood and flesh flew. Those beasts were like pieces of paper in front of it. Heavens! Long Chen stood atop the berserk blood mammoth's head, appearing like a divine king overlooking the battlefield. That air around him moved the hearts of countless women. There was a wild charisma around Long Chen, one full of danger and could not be tamed, and yet it was this wildness that possessed such killing power. One man and one mammoth rampaged across the battlefield. As for Chu Kuang's side, they entered the devil slaughter path half an incense stick's worth of time after Long Chen's side. However, due to having so many more experts, they quickly caught up. Long Chen's side had barely crossed a fourth of the devil slaughter path when Chu Kuang's side reached the one-third point. It was because Chu Kuang's side had Gu Fei, Tang Yeochen, Li Chengbi, Xiang Qiji, Yang Fang, and the others. They were all strong experts of their own powers, so these beasts were nothing in front of them, due to their crazy charge. They left behind the rear where over 10 of their members died. On the other hand, Long Chen's side steady advance still had yet to meet a single casualty. Slowly but surely, Long Chen's side was being left behind by Chu Kuang. But the addition of the mammoth instantly cleared their path. With such an asset, the beasts in the path were quickly flattened until only a few were left. That's cheating. It's completely unfair. Raged Chu Huayiren. Chu Kuang's side was slaughtering the beasts, but Long Chen was actually controlling the strongest beast to slaughter the other, turning this into a play. Chu Huayiren was unable to remain still when he saw the vicious beasts on Long Chen's side falling one by one. Cheating? Didn't someone say that such a thing was strictly against the Academy's rules, and that no one would dare to cheat? That they would be courting death? Why has your tone changed all of a sudden? When things were unfavorable to Long Chen, you didn't say anything about it being unfair, did you? As one of the three leaders of the Discipline Institute, a person cannot have a narrow, biased heart. There are countless people watching here, so take note of your position. Otherwise, it will affect the Academy's prestige. My Discipline Institute cannot carry such a bad name, said the head judge. The other magistrate glared at Chu Huayiren. That one gaze had many meanings. Some things couldn't be randomly said out loud, or they would be denounced. If it was reported to the dean, it would be very troublesome. Hence, Chu Huayiren sat back down, his expression extremely ugly. Everyone knew he was definitely in a bad mood. Before this, when the berserk blood mammoth first appeared, although it couldn't be said that he had laughed at Long Chen, he had said that no one could cheat here. 
so it could only be blamed on Long Chen's bad luck. But now that Long Chen controlled it, he switched sides, saying that it was cheating. That was a complete loss of face. Heaven Master Yan Yang and Dong Ming exchanged a glance, both of them shaking their heads, clearly looking down on this kind of person. At first, the berserk blood mammoth hadn't been going all out while executing Long Chen's orders. However, everything changed after Long Chen had stealthily given it a medicinal pill. That pill ignited its hot blood, and so it began to cooperate with Long Chen. When it did its work well, he slipped it another pill. With two pills down, it began to really put in some effort and instantly responded to Long Chen's orders. It was even more obedient than housepits with slave marks. After a few rampages, the devil slaughter path was sparse with beasts. With everyone else following up, more and more of them were killed. And when there were only ten left, the door at the end of the path opened. Mist flowed out. They could vaguely see a mountain within that mist. And at the top of it was a flag. That was the divine flag. Any group that seized it would be victorious. This was the final crux upon which this competition hung on. Everyone, follow me. Long Chen shouted and charged forward with the berserk blood mammoth. With victory in sight, the unfettered alliance's disciples roared and chased after him. Chapter 2902 Using money to pave the way when Long Chen entered the mist, a faint spiritual pressure pressed down on him, and the further he went, the greater the spiritual pressure. This spiritual pressure magnified the negative emotions inside a person's heart, adding the mist on the outside. Any random thought could instantly manifest itself as an illusion around them. However, this kind of spiritual pressure could be ignored by Long Chen. As he charged forward with the berserk blood mammoth, Mu Qingyan and the others were quickly left behind. There was no way around it. People without strong enough souls or wills would need to get used to this spiritual pressure bit by bit. If they charged forward recklessly like Long Chen, they would quickly become bewildered. Seeing Long Chen charge forward on his own, completely ignoring the formation, Luo Bing and Luo Ning clenched their fists. They watched anxiously, their palms covered in sweat. Chu Kuang has also passed through the devil slaughter path. He's so fast. A startled cry rang out and drew everyone's attention. They looked over to see that Chu Kuang's side had also opened the door and were rushing over. Perhaps Chu Kuang had sensed something as he also quickened the pace, charging out. Due to how fast Long Chen was going, his soul began to prickle, but it didn't affect him. He then ordered the berserk blood mammoth to quicken the pace. As a result, the forest within this mist was being crushed as it rushed through. The sound of flying sand and stone followed him. In an incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen reached the top. There was an altar here, and the flag was stuck at the center. Long Chen then rushed up and placed a jade plate in his hand into a notch in the altar. After that, the altar lit up. The mist in this region slowly dispersed. Long Chen was the first to reach it. He left a mark on the altar, and the pressure of the formation on Long Chen's side began to weaken. This way, Mu Qingyan and the others could rush up easier. There were eight lamps set up on the altar. As Long Chen pressed his hand on the jade plate, his immortal spiritual energy was flowing into it, and the first lamp slowly lit up. The flag could only be taken when all eight lamps were lit. However, each lamp required a certain amount of time to light up. Furthermore, each person was limited in how much energy they could feed it. In other words, the more people sending energy in at the same time, the faster it would light up. It had nothing to do with a person's cultivation base. What's that? Suddenly, someone cried out in shock. A white light had enveloped Chu Kuang, Gu Fei, Tang Yeochen. Li Chengbi, Xiang Qiji, Yang Fang, and the other experts on that side. They shot toward the core region like a shooting star. Barrier piercing shuttle talismans. Those cost hundreds of thousands of immortal crystals. It seems that they're using up over a hundred of them. Someone recognized the white light. It was something formed by igniting over a hundred of such talismans. Chu Kuang had actually ignited over 10 million immortal crystals. Wasn't that too crazy? Furthermore, it was clear to everyone that the reason Gu Fei, Tang Yeochen, Li Chengbi, Xiang Qiji, Yang Fang, and the others had joined him was due to a similar business transaction. This is definitely cheating. 
what is even the point of holding this competition in the future? Whoever has more money would just win. Luo Ning shot up furiously. Financial power is the foundation of cultivation. It is even more important than talent. Do you not even understand this? No matter how great your talent is, without any resources, what can you do? Chu Kuang's actions have not violated the rules. So where do these accusations of cheating come from? Sneered the magistrate beside Chu Huairan. All the disciples were infuriated. This was truly cheating, and completely brazen cheating at that. Using money to win this competition was practically blasphemy against the High Firmament Academy. People couldn't help looking toward the head judge, but they saw that he remained indifferent. Feeling disappointed, they then turned to Heaven Master Yun Yang, hoping for some justice. Heaven Master Yun Yang shook his head. The path of cultivation is to seek something that will benefit you. To use any means necessary is not necessarily contemptible. Every scrap of resources that you fight for is another opportunity to increase your power, which increases your chance of survival. In front of your own life, the restrictions of morality are meaningless. Although this might sound cruel and shameless, it is reality. You will perhaps come to understand it in the future. Just at this moment, one of the lamps was lit up by Long Chen. However, just as he started lighting up the second lamp, the berserk blood mammoth raised its giant tusk and smashed it down boom. Dust and dirt exploded. Gu Fei's body was sent flying, while the berserk blood mammoth was also knocked back a few steps. Long Chen. Die. Gu Fei slammed his hands on the ground, causing countless golden swords to fly out of the earth toward Long Chen. Long Chen was a bit surprised. Gu Fei was actually capable of using magical arts before igniting his divine flame. Furthermore, this technique meant that he was a metal attribute expert. Long Chen instinctively retreated, avoiding the area of Gu Fei's attack. However, at that moment, he instantly had a bad feeling. The space he was retreating into felt strange. Scram. A sneer rang out. After that, Long Chen saw Tang Yeo Chen holding a formation disc pointed at him, and his expression instantly changed. Long Chen vanished reappearing right outside the door of the devil slaughter path. He was shocked and infuriated as he had been schemed against. Gu Fei had been nothing more than a distraction for Tang Yeo Chen to use a formation to send him away. Long Chen, I won't kill you. I'll let you watch as the divine flag is taken away by me, while you are powerless to do anything. Ha ha ha. Chu Kuang's arrogant laughter rang out from the top of the mountain. There was also the sound of the death throes of the berserk blood mammoth. Long Chen's fists then creaked and killing intent exploded in his eyes. Chu Kuang and the others had intentionally tormented the berserk blood mammoth before killing it just to provoke him. Since you all want to die so badly, I will make sure that you do. At this moment, Thunder Force appeared beneath his feet, and a pair of lightning wings appeared on his back. Like a bolt of lightning, he rushed back to the core. Chapter 2903 Forced into a disadvantage they really did come prepared. Everything is going according to Chu Kuang's plan. Luo Bing's heart clenched when she saw Long Chen be sent out. Chu Kuang was truly sinister. He viewed this competition as something that he had to win. So he was pulling out all the stops. Even with the lightning wings, Long Chen couldn't fly. So he needed some time to catch up to them. Luckily, as he had put in his jade plate first, the pressure on Mu King Gaian and the others lessened allowing them to advance much faster than before. As for Chu Kuang and the others, they were already igniting the lamps. Suddenly, space shuddered. Chu Kuang, Gu Fei, Tang Yeo Chen, Li Chengbi, Xiang Qiji, Yang Fang, and the others managed to ignite two lamps at once with their combined efforts. Once those lamps were ignited, the mist covering Chu Kuang's side mostly faded. After that, Tang Yeo Chen took out a formation disc and placed it on the ground. A pillar of light then shot out of it. Have they gone insane? They wasted 8 million immortal crystals for a temporary transportation formation disc in this competition. Are they all money wasters? This formation disc in Tang Yeo Chen's hands was a small scale formation that cost an enormous sum. It could be set up anywhere and was usually used on the battlefield for sudden attacks or fleeing. To use it in this competition was practically a waste of a treasure. As the light grew brighter and brighter, 
The other disciples of the Prime Glory Alliance who had been left behind crushed the talismans in their hands. They were then enveloped by light and transported to this light pillar. Over 400 people were instantly brought to the flag, and the scene infuriated all the spectating disciples. Cheating. Absolutely flagrant cheating what is the point of competing? All the opportunities will be left to those with money. Should people without money just starve to death? That's right. They're already born with more opportunities than others. Now, they won't even give others a chance? What is the point of me cultivating in this academy? To be an extra for those with money. Hey, bad chew person. You're all trash. From top to bottom, there's not a single good person in your chew family. Luo Ning directly cursed Chu Hu and Iron. However, her voice was drowned out by the endless cursing of the others. All the disciples were inflamed and cursing. As they cursed, they grew more brazen with their cursing until some were directly cursing Chu Hu and Iron. Shut up. Rules are rules. As long as Chu Kuang doesn't break the rules of the academy, it doesn't count as cheating. You poor beggars. Do you think you're qualified to make such a clamor? You are fated to only be extras for the main character shouted the magistrate beside Chu Hu and Iron. His voice like thunder shaking these disciples' ears. For a while, they couldn't hear anything, and the plaza descended into silence. These disciples were suppressed, but their eyes were full of rage. As they couldn't curse with their mouths, they did it with their hearts. The head judge suddenly shouted, You're the one who should shut up. Everyone within the academy is equal. Although the rules are not perfect and some people can take advantage of them, all disciples have a right to fight for their own opportunities. Some disciples are more privileged than others, but opportunities are available to every disciple as long as the disciples fight for them. I am also born from commoners and neither of my parents was a cultivator. I almost starved to death on the streets as a child, but I still reached this point. Are you saying that I am also just an extra for the two of you? The head judge's voice was full of dignity and righteous indignation as he shouted to that magistrate. Hearing this, the disciples exploded in thunderous cheering. The head judge had essentially slapped that magistrate in the face. Head judge, this lowly one was rambling foolishly. I ask that you forgive me. I apologize to you in front of everyone, said that magistrate. His head had grown hot, which was the only reason he had said such foolish words. As soon as he said them, he knew he had done the wrong thing, but he couldn't take them back once they were out. Having so many disciples cursing him had flustered him. Giving an apology now is useless. Do you think this is like the trial hall where you apologized to Long Chen? You are one of the three leaders of the Discipline Institute, the very representation of the Academy's laws. However, you are an extremist who openly expresses views that harm our disciples. I will report this to the Institute head and have him deal with you. Just wait for the result, said the head judge coldly. Although his expression was cold, he was actually delighted inside. That magistrate had actually said something so foolish. Now he was doomed. At the very least. He wouldn't be able to maintain his position after this. The head judge then turned to the disciples. The Discipline Institute's laws are all just. The rules are fair. But remember, even though sunlight warms this entire world, there are also shadows that it can't reach. Don't question the entire world just because you stare into the shadows. All experts are tempered through adversity. As for those so-called geniuses made by throwing resources at them, in the end, they always become whetstones for others. They aren't anything enviable. There is no need for you to be indignant or undervalue yourself. Just look at those black robes in front of you. Do you not understand? The black robes. Startled. The disciples looked at Long Chen and instantly understood what the head judge was saying. Didn't Long Chen also start with nothing? He came to the academy without the money to even apply. But from the path of a worker with no background or resources. He still rose in the academy. Just how amazing was Chu Kuang's background? But against Long Chen, he still needed to buy so many people and waste so much money. Why was that? Wasn't it precisely because he was afraid of losing? Someone with no background or money could force someone like Chu Kuang to be this afraid. That was already proof that family background didn't decide future accomplishments. Because of this. The disciples felt much better and looked toward the head judge with respect and gratitude. However, 
When they looked at Chu Hua Iron and the other magistrate, their eyes were full of scorn. Both of those two old fellows had wasted their years. Mu King Gian has arrived. Luo Bing suddenly cried out. She saw Mu King Gian taking the lead in attacking the Prime Glory Alliance. Chapter 2904 Mu King Gian vs. Gu Fei Mu King Gian was originally the closest behind Long Chen as her spiritual strength was stronger than the others. Hence, after Long Chen was schemed against and sent back, Mu King Gian quickly arrived. But Chu Kuang and the others had started activating the other lamps. If they managed to light five of the eight lamps, then the lamp that Long Chen had lit would be extinguished, and the seal belonging to the Unfettered Alliance would also be erased. At that time, a barrier would appear around the altar, protecting Chu Kuang's side. If that was the case, fighting over the flag would require breaking through the barrier, and that would increase the difficulty even more. Chu Kuang and the others had ignited two lamps, with over 400 of them present. Igniting another three lamps would be easy, and once that happened, the barrier would appear, and it would be as difficult as ascending the heavens for Long Chen's side to take the flag. Stop her. Don't let her get close to the altar, ordered Chu Kuang. They couldn't allow anyone to attack the altar at this time, or the lamp lighting would pause. Moreover, the ones that were already lit would also be extinguished, and they would need to restart. Leave it to me. Gu Fei flew out. Blocking her path, the number two expert of the God Institute? Nothing more than a frog at the bottom of a well. I didn't get to beat Luo Bing this time, so I'll have to use you to show her that if it weren't for this strategy, she would have been crushed beneath my feet. Gu Fei sneered and Arun appeared on his forehead, flowing with immortal chi. As he formed hand seals, runic swords condensed in the air. Heavens, runes condensing into swords. He can already control the power of his divine flame. Isn't that a power that someone can only unlock after reaching the divine flame realm? The disciples outside cried out in shock. Gu Fei was using a magical art that normally only people in the divine flame realm could use. Long Chen was right. This fellow has been hiding his true power, said Luo Bing. Then it's a real pity. Our bloodlines have been activated. If you fought him, you'd definitely win, said Luo Ning. Clenching her teeth, the two of them were originally very confident in beating Gu Fei and the others, but the result was that just as they prepared to strike, the other side actually abandoned them, making them feel terrible. Now, seeing the unfettered alliance in crisis, they could only sit and watch as spectators. That feeling was truly unbearable. Back to the battlefield, Mu King Gian's expression was icy. However, her footsteps didn't pause and she continued rushing forward. Her hand slowly reached back for her sword. Ignorant. I'll make you pay the price for that ignorance. Gu Fei sneered and suddenly changed hand seals. As a result, a runic sword from behind him suddenly shot out at Mu King Gian. However, as the sound of a sword leaving its sheath rang out, a streak of cold light flashed through the air. The image of a half-moon appeared, crumbling Gu Fei's runic sword. The half moon continued without pause toward Gu Fei. Seeing this scene, he was shocked. This was just a probing blow, but it was also an attempt to stop her in her tracks. It was because he viewed this clash as a performance for Luo Bing to see. He wanted her to see the difference between them, as he still had some regret in his heart over not getting to fight her this time. However, he had never expected this. According to his estimate, even if he couldn't force back Mu King Gian with this attack, he should have been able to make her pause. But his attack had no effect at all. With the half moon slashing toward him, he instinctively dodged to the side. All of a sudden, his ear turned cold, but something warm dripped down. After that, he saw his ear lying on the ground as well as his blood. It was only then that he sensed a sharp pain. The disciples outside were all stunned. Mu King Gian's sword light was actually so powerful that it could ignore the runic sword. The runic sword is condensed from the power of the heavenly deos. It relies on the merger between a person's core energy and their spiritual will to draw out the power of the heavenly deos. The power of the runic sword depends on the cultivation base of the user. For it to be unable to bear a single blow isn't because this magical art is weak, but because the difference in wills between the two sides is too great. Explained Heaven Master Yun Yang. This explanation made people come to an understanding of just how powerful the will was. 
as well as what exactly it was. Slot, you're courting death. Gu Fei was enraged. This was originally just a performance to him, but he ended up losing face instead. In his fury, he suddenly extended his hand, and another runic sword appeared in it. He then slashed it down in front of him. As the sword in his hand moved, the dozens of other runic swords shot out like bolts of lightning at Mu Qingyan. Mu Qingyan's sword danced, blocking those runic swords, and they were destroyed rapidly. Boom. Sparks exploded between Mu Qingyan's sword and the sword in Gu Fei's hand. This sword was a real sword. So we were tricked by Gu Fei. The reason he can condense those runic swords is because of that divine weapon in his hands. A startled cry rang out. Gu Fei's spirit item was his treasure, possessing innate magical runes capable of summoning runic swords, which didn't possess their own substantial bodies. His sword was the mother sword, while the runic swords that it summoned were the sword children. Hence, the effect was almost the same as runic swords condensed by the magical art. The main difference was that runic swords condensed from the magical art would grow stronger with the user's cultivation base, will, and comprehension of the heavenly deos. But the technique used by relying on a weapon did not get stronger like that. Despite that, this sword was definitely an absolute treasure. Mu Qingyan was knocked back by it, but Gu Fei also suffered. His blood surged tumultuously inside of him, and he was also shocked to find a tiny nick in his sword. This infuriated and aggrieved him. This was a treasure from his family, and he had actually borrowed it from an expert in his family for the immortal competition. With it damaged, how was he supposed to explain himself to his family? Mu Qingyan was knocked back, but her reaction was far faster. Taking advantage of Gu Fei's alarmed emotions, she slashed a ray of sword light onto the altar. As a result, the altar shuddered and all the lamps that the Prime Glory Alliance's disciples had been working hard to ignite instantly extinguished just as the fifth lamp began to light up. All their efforts were for nothing. Chu Kuang was infuriated. The barrier was interrupted just as it was on the verge of appearing. So he cursed. Gu Fei, are you useless? You couldn't even block her. Upon hearing this, Gu Fei's fury soared. Killing intent appeared in his eyes. After that, a rune ignited on his forehead, and divine light bloomed out of his sword. Die. Gu Fei's sword slashed through the air, unleashing waves of ripples in the air. An incomparably sharp aura locked onto Mu Qingyan. Not good. Luo Bing's expression changed, and she shot up. Chapter 2905 Fighting Spirit Items He activated the power of his spirit item. Is he really trying to kill her? The spectating disciples were stunned. Spirit items were normally only capable of being controlled by divine flame experts, but mortal transcendence experts could also activate them with some special means. As for Gu Fei, he seemed to have activated his spirit item with his bloodline power. Hence, the spectators' hearts clenched. The spirit item had completely locked onto Mu Qingyan. There was no running away, nor was there anyone who could help her. Some disciples even closed their eyes. Unable to bear watching, in the face of Gu Fei's attack, Mu Qingyan took a deep breath. Her gaze grew sharper and determined. She murmured, Brother San said the heart wields the sword, and the sword has a soul and a will. I have the sword. The sword has me. A sword cultivator knows no fear. A sword cultivator has nothing that they cannot cut. Heaven, hell, laws, deos, all untold dangers, all binding shackles. They are to be broken by the sword. Every single one of her words contained her staunch will. There was an unbreaking determination in her words. In that instant, the world seemed to turn still. The head judge, Heaven Master Yan Yang, Heaven Master Dong Miang, and a few other experts all stared in shock. Mu Qingyan's current cultivation base wasn't even worth mentioning in front of them. But this determination she revealed along with the merger of the body and the Tao that occurred when she spoke, as if she was merging with the very heavens, deeply moved them. As long as she doesn't die, her future prospects are limitless, murmured the head judge. Long Chen really is a miraculous existence heaven master Yan Yang looked at Long Chen who was still rushing back to the core. As a heaven master, he was fully convinced by Long Chen's methods. Just at this moment, Mu Qingyan's sword shuddered. No runes lit up and no manifestation of the heavens appeared. But in that instant, 
Her sword seemed to come to life. The sharp will of the sword Dao erupted. Even through the formation, everyone felt that sharpness. Just at that moment, Mu Qingyan's sword met Gu Fei's spirit sword. Boom. Runes exploded. Mu Qingyan and Gu Fei were blown back at the same time and coughed up blood. They're actually evenly matched. Mu Qingyan only has an ordinary sword, but she received the full power attack of a spirit item. Heavens. Just how did she do this? Countless people were stunned by this. That attack by Mu Qingyan was absolutely marvelous. Mu Qingyan and Gu Fei were blown back a dozen steps. The next moment, Gu Fei forcibly stabilized himself and suddenly began to vomit blood. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Gu Fei's spirit item split in two. A spirit item had actually been severed by an ordinary sword? How could that be possible? It was like a paper knife and a steel knife clashed, only for the steel knife to be cut apart. It was inconceivable. Just at this moment, Mu Qingyan's own sword began to crack, until it was covered in cracks and shattered into dust. A sword of ordinary metal and a divine weapon had actually destroyed each other. This result was unbelievable. Mu Qingyan also turned pale as paper at this moment, followed by an unhealthy redness appearing on her cheeks. Clearly, she had also paid an immense price for this. Ahhh. -h. Suddenly, Gu Fei screamed. His forehead split open and blood dripped out. Moreover, his eyes turned scarlet like he had been bedeviled. Mu Qingyan, I will tear you to pieces. Gu Fei had activated his spirit item with his bloodline power. Hence, with his sword broken, his bloodline power also received a backlash. Almost half of the inheritance runes within his ancestral blood were gone. In other words, this one attack from Mu Qingyan gravely damaged his Tao Foundation. In the future, he might very well be no longer able to inherit the innate divine abilities of his family. When he thought of this, hatred overflowed from Gu Fei. He agreed to help Chu Kuang because his family had received a letter from the Chu family asking for it. The Chu family not only brought up some business collaborations between them, but they also promised a reward that was extremely enticing to Gu Fei. The pressure from his family and the great rewards were why Gu Fei had abandoned defeating Luo Bing and his chance at fame. However, he had never imagined that in his fight against Mu Qingyan, not only would his spirit item be destroyed, but even his bloodline runes were damaged. That was something completely unacceptable. It meant that the highest realm he would ever reach was the Divine Flame Realm. He would never ascend to the Four Peak Realm. To a genius, this was even worse than death. He almost went insane. Die. Gu Fei roared like a wild beast. And another sword appeared in his hand. It was also a spirit item. This was actually his personal item and not some supreme spirit item he had borrowed. He spat a mouthful of blood onto his sword. It buzzed and awoke. He actually used his essence blood to use this spirit item. He had definitely gone crazy. Mu Qingyan was severely injured. Right now. The best choice was to dodge and wait for the others to arrive so that they could charge the altar together. However, she didn't do that. Instead, she took out another sword and faced Gu Fei directly. Boom. Mu Qingyan's sword exploded. The fragments of her sword stabbed into her body, dyeing her clothes red. What is she doing? Why is she fighting him head on? Luo Ning clenched her fists worriedly. Li Kei and the others would be arriving soon and Long Chen was getting closer and closer. In just a bit, she would have reinforcements. Fighting directly like this was foolish. Mu Qingyan has already chosen the path of a sword cultivator under Long Chen's direction. In battle, if her sword is unsheathed, she cannot retreat. She can only attack. If she chose to retreat, her sword Dao would be severely impacted. It might even cause a heart devil. So even in death, she won't retreat unless she wishes to abandon her path as a sword cultivator. Side Heaven Master Yan Yang. Weren't sword cultivators a bit too stubborn? They couldn't even retreat? Even if they would die? How was that different from a fool? Die. Gu Fei was sent reeling back, but seeing Mu Qingyan on her last legs, he once more attacked without hesitation. Mu Qingyan solemnly took out another sword. Her body was already swaying, but her hand was steady. Her gaze was as determined as it was at the start. There was no fear on her face. Don't. Some of the female disciples cried out in horror. 
Unable to bear watching her blood fall. Chapter 2906 The Barrier Forms Boom. When Gu Fei's merciless slash fell, Mu Qingyan's sword shattered once more. And this time, Mu Qingyan was sent tumbling black. However, she stood up again, her body covered in blood and quivering. Her fresh blood dripped onto the ground, leaving scarlet blooms. Mu Qingyan felt like all her energy had been exhausted, but she still stood. She only had one thought, I cannot fall, even in death, I have to remain standing. In the first clash, Mu Qingyan had used up all her energy, and the next two exchanges contained only her will. Now do you understand? Asked Heaven Master Yun Yang. This formless, inexplicable power is ephemeral but also real. Heaven Master, don't just hold lessons for us. Look at her. Please go save senior apprentice sister Qingyan. Are you really going to just watch as she's killed? Is a genius of the God Institute going to fall just like this? One disciple couldn't bear it. Heaven Master Yun Yang shook his head. Rules are rules. They cannot be changed. As soon as Mu Qingyan admits defeat, she will be transported out. But if she refuses to speak, no one can go in to save her. It depends on herself. In the first two parts of the divine competition, disciples could not retreat even in death, but in the third part, in the fighting between groups, if a disciple was afraid of death, as long as they shouted that they conceded, they would be brought out by the formation, however, that would be giving up their qualifications to compete, even if their group did win in the end, it would have nothing to do with the person who gave up, because of it, unless there was no other choice, people wouldn't shout that they gave up, that was not just a loss but also a stain that they would never be able to wash away. Just at this moment, Gu Fei once more attacked Mu Qingyan, who was barely able to stand. There was no longer a sword in her hand. As Gu Fei was charging toward her, the spectating disciples were filled with fury and wished that they could charge in and chop him to pieces. Mu Qingyan could not do anything. The only thing in her head was Long Chen's words. Even when facing death, don't close your eyes have the bravery to face it. Seeing the sword get closer and closer to her, Mu Qingyan smelled death. She had never been so close to death in her life. However, the moment the sword was less than half a foot from Mu Qingyan's neck, a broad sword blocked it. Gu Fei, I'll kill you. It was Li Ke who had arrived. His eyes were scarlet with rage, and runes lit up all over his body. He was like a wild beast. Having seen everything that had happened here, he rushed over with his full power and saved Mu Qingyan. Fortunately, Li Ke's latent talent had been awoken by Long Chen, so his sword was able to send Gu Fei flying back. Even though Li Ke himself was knocked back as well, his hand bleeding, he didn't care. Even as Gu Fei followed up with a piercing blow to his chest, he ignored it and hacked his sword at Gu Fei's head. Seeing this, Gu Fei was shocked and enraged. He naturally was unwilling to exchange his life for Li Ke's, so he hastily switched moves. Boom. The hasty adjustment caused Gu Fei to stagger back, coughing up another mouthful of blood. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew by, and Gu Fei tumbled back, just barely avoiding Li Ke's killing blow that left a deep line in the ground. This one blow made Gu Fei become covered in cold sweat. Before Gu Fei could find his balance, Li Ke attacked once again. His three moves were all fluid and quick, seeking to take his opponent's life. How fierce the disciples outside exclaimed in amazement. Each of Li Ke's moves was a true killing blow. He was like a fierce general on the battlefield. Gu Fei was actually sent into a fluster by Li Ke's attacks. Countless people clapped and cheered at this turn of events, hoping for Li Ke to kill him. Even in the Immortal Institute, Gu Fei was not well liked almost to the same level as Chu Kuang. Suddenly, Gu Fei let out a shout, grabbing hold of an opportunity. He blocked Li Ke's attack, forcing him back. After that, Gu Fei followed up with an attack to take back the flow of offense. However, when that sword was about to reach Li Ke's neck, Li Ke's broadsword also pierced toward Gu Fei's danshan. It was extremely rapid and vicious. Gu Fei fumed. He could clearly kill Li Ke right now but the price for that would be having his danshan struck by Li Ke's attack. Although he had a protective divine ability, if he couldn't block it, then today, he would truly be crippled. In the end, 
Gu Fei cowered again and switched to blocking, and the hasty block resulted in him being pressed back. Li Kei chased after him once again, almost cutting off half of his face. Li Kei's fighting technique made people's hearts pound. He was incredibly vicious, practically throwing away his own life. Scram. Just as Li Kei was forcing Gu Fei to flee wretchedly, looking as if he might take Gu Fei's life at any moment, multiple people charged off of the altar. One of them held a bronze rod and smashed it at Li Kei. Boom. Li Kei hastily blocked, only for him to sense an immense power pass through his arms. As a result, he almost lost hold of his broadsword and was forced back 30 meters before stabilizing his stance. You want to compete with power? You aren't even fit to carry my shoes, sneered the wielder of the bronze rod. He had a large figure, being two heads taller than an ordinary person. The upper half of his clothes had exploded, revealing his copper skin that had veins wiggled beneath it like countless serpents. Moreover, his blood chi was like a volcano that had been accumulating for 10,000 years and was ready to burst. It's Yuan Xinghu. How is he so powerful? Luo Ning was shocked. Yuan Xinghu was ranked 3 on the Immortal Rankings. Normally, he was a complete fool and had relied entirely on Gu Fei to reach 3rd place. Hence, Luo Ning had never cared about him. However, today, he revealed astonishing power. It was unbelievable. He had truly hidden himself deeply. Yuan Xinghu was about to chase after Li Kei when the altar suddenly quivered. A pillar of light then soared and enveloped the altar. It's over. The barrier has been activated. Mu King Ian's heart fell to the bottom of despair. Her vision turned dark and she almost passed out. Chapter 2907 Devil I Yang Fang That's too fast, isn't it? They have too many people. Over 400 people are lighting the lamps together. So they are naturally fast. The activation of the barrier almost always means that the competition is over. Ugh. The power disparity is too great. It's not power disparity but wealth disparity. In this world, if you have money, you can get anything that you desire. The barrier around the altar meant that if Long Chen and the others wished to enter the altar, they would have to break through the formation first. But Chu Kuang and the others would not just allow them to freely attack the formation. This meant that Long Chen no longer had any chance. Ha ha ha. The barrier has been activated. Victory is in grasp. Guys, there's no need to have any mercy. Teach these fools a lesson. Chu Kuang instantly became arrogant. With the barrier activated, he no longer had any of his previous cautiousness. He knew that he had already won. He left behind a hundred people inside of the barrier to light up the lamps. However, the final two lamps would take at least two hours to illuminate even with the hundred people working together. They were the ones that took the longest to light up. However, with the barrier active, Chu Kuang no longer had any misjivings. Other than the hundred people inside, everyone else swarmed over Mu King Gaian and the others. Kill. Li Ke roared furiously and charged forward, along with Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the rest of the unfettered alliance's experts that were arriving. Mu King Gaian was heavily injured and unable to continue fighting. They had to protect her and buy time for Long Chen to arrive. Kill? Who are you going to kill? You're the ones who are going to die. Yuan Xinghu smashed his bronze rod at Li Kei with his full power. A powerful gust raged. Boom. Seeing this, Li Kei also became ruthless and slashed his sword with his full power. But as a result, his hands were broken, and his broadsword was sent flying. It wasn't that Li Kei's power was inferior, but simply that he wasn't skilled with heavy weapons yet. Because of it, he was naturally at a disadvantage. Trash. Scram. Yuan Xinghu's hand was left bloody from the exchange, but he furiously attacked once more. With his weapon gone, Li Kei was struck in the chest. His upper body collapsed, and he vomited blood. If it weren't for his tough physical body, that strike would have flattened him. The other disciples charging forward were also sent flying and injured in the first exchange. Even Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu were defeated. Moreover, another disciple had his head cut off, his corpse falling to the ground. Their opponents were too powerful. These were people that Chu Kuang had bought with his money. In the entire unfettered alliance, the only one who could match them was Mu Qingyan. However, she was heavily injured and couldn't fight any longer. 
Do you know why I wasted so much effort and resources on this competition? I wanted to beat you in your most confident state. First, I let you see hope before I showed you what despair is. Those who go against me, Chu Kuang, never have good endings. I will break your confidence and leave a shadow in your hearts for the rest of your lives. I, Chu Kuang, will be your eternal nightmare. I heard that during your training with Long Chen, you learned how to face death? Does that mean that you're no longer afraid of dying? Good. Then if anyone shouts that they admit defeat, I'll make sure that their line is severed. Not even your ancestors will be able to rest in peace in their graves, declared Chu Kuang. Outside of the battlefield, Luo Bing and Luo Ning's expressions changed. How sinister. He wants to kill all of them. Chu Kuang intentionally insulted them, provoking them into staying here without admitting defeat. As long as no one admitted defeat, he could freely kill them all without punishment. Despicable. Shameless trash. Bastard. Son of a bitch. The disciples outside unleashed a torrent of curses. This Chu Kuang made them so angry that they almost broke their teeth by clenching them so hard. Kill them all. Don't worry, there's no punishment for killing people today. Chu Kuang waved his hand. After that, the disciples behind him charged forward with sinister smiles. One of them even shouted, Kill. Each person's head is worth a million immortal crystals. It's just up to who is faster. An uproar exploded amongst the disciples watching. Chu Kuang was absolutely despicable to actually make such a reward system. This way, the Prime Glory Alliance's disciples would kill everyone to gain as much money as possible. The Chu family's people are all despicable. They'll even do something so evil, raged Luo Ning. However, her rage was useless. They were outside the competition and couldn't help. Inside, Chu Kuang himself didn't join in. Even Tang Yeochen, Li Chengbi, Xiang Qiji, Yang Fang, and the others simply stood there. The disciples on the battlefield began to kill each other. However, the shocking thing was that despite clearly being weaker, the unfettered alliance's side had greater killing power. In the first clash, over 20 of the Prime Glory Alliance's disciples were killed. Mu King Gaian's people were launching vicious blows with no regard for their own safety. This was a true slaughter where blood flew everywhere. It was such a desperate and bitter sight that the disciples outside could barely watch. Although in the past competitions, casualties were not rare. There had never been such bloody battles between people before. Normally, once one side had an absolute advantage, the other side would simply admit defeat and be transported out. They wouldn't fight like this. Even if both sides did have some enmity between them, after a few people died, they would get afraid, and the weaker party would admit defeat. Hence, this was no longer a competition but a bloody battle. The unfettered alliance was at an absolute disadvantage, but no one admitted defeat. One of them was cut in two but still managed to pierce his sword through his attacker's skull. At the same time, his upper body grabbed onto another enemy's leg and he bit down with all his remaining power. Despite that enemy trying to shake him off, he didn't let go. Due to the distraction, another disciple managed to kill that enemy. Even though the enemy was already dead, the disciple in half continued to hang on tightly to the enemy's leg. Seeing these, even the instructors were moved. The unfettered alliance's disciples were truly strong. Although their cultivation bases were weak, they were true warriors. Casualties appeared on both sides, but the majority actually belonged to the Prime Glory Alliance. Upon seeing their numbers shrink, Chu Kuang's expression finally changed. A bunch of ants also dare to be arrogant. Die. At this moment, the injured Gu Fei charged in, and the scales instantly tipped. Several disciples of the unfettered alliance were instantly killed. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu who were doing their best to kill as many enemies as possible attacked him only to be sent flying. They weren't a match for him. Just as Gu Fei was about to take advantage and kill the two of them, a sharp streak of sword light slashed down, making him retreat hastily. He looked over to see Mu King Gaian being propped up by a female disciple. That attack had come from her. Slot, I'll kill you today. Gu Fei furiously stepped toward her, but his path was suddenly blocked by someone. That person wore a green hat and green light flowed within his eyes. It was Devil Eye Yang Fang. A strange rune suddenly appeared in his eyes. After that, 
Mu Qingyan felt a wave of dizziness, feeling like her soul was being stripped away. Chapter 2908 Despicable and Shameless Mu Qingyan Are you not going to kneel? A strange light flowed within Devil I Yang Fang's eyes. When he spoke, Mu Qingyan's body quivered. Her eyes lost their luster, as if her soul had been taken. Yang Fang cultivates eye techniques. Mu Qingyan's injuries are too severe, so she is instantly taken in. Devil I Yang Fang was an extremely nefarious existence amongst the Outer Academy's disciples. Many people felt fear when his name was mentioned. His eye technique was able to control people's souls, and he had even more terrifying eye techniques. Therefore, not many people dared to provoke him. Noveloon.com CM He was quite famous, but only a few people had ever seen his techniques. Hence, seeing Mu Qingyan instantly fall under his control with just a glance, they were shocked. Despicable. Mu Qingyan is severely injured and exhausted. Otherwise, with her sword Daowul, how could she be so easily captured by his technique? Yang Fang really is in the same pack as Chu Kuang. Yang Fang's sudden move truly was taking advantage of her state. It was not the action of a strong and courageous person but the action of a coward. Senior apprentice sister King Gyan, the disciple supporting Mu King Gyan cried out in a panic, but she didn't seem to hear. Her whole body was shaking. Neil, Devil I Yang Fang shouted, causing her shaking to get even worse. She was under the control of his eye technique, but her will continued to resist. Seeing Chu Kuang and the others just standing to the side, Luo Bing suddenly shouted, Chu Kuang is so insidious, he doesn't just want victory, but he also wants to humiliate the unfettered alliance's disciples and shatter their confidence. He wants them to be broken for the rest of their lives. Then he'll use them to infuriate Long Chen, while Tang Yeochen hides at the back. Look, he is silently forming hand seals. There are runic fluctuations spreading across the land. He's setting up a trap. The unfettered alliance's disciples have now become bait for Long Chen. Hearing that, Luo Ning was startled and hastily looked at Tang Yeochen. Just as Luo Bing said, his wide sleeves were quivering slightly. He was definitely secretly forming hand seals. There were occasionally faint runes appearing in the surroundings, and everyone was focused on the battle. If it hadn't been for Luo Bing's reminder, no one would have noticed. After spotting this, they looked at Long Chen who was running back. He was on the verge of reaching the battlefield again, and they felt a chill. Although they all detested Chu Kuang, they had no choice but to admit that he was truly crafty. He was like a viper that devoured its prey whole. This scheming heart was frightening. At this moment, Yang Fang's eyes flickered. Mu King Gyan had fallen into his illusions but was still resisting his orders, infuriating him. He shouted several times. But Mu Qingguan didn't kneel. Her knees didn't bend. Suddenly, Yang Fang's gaze changed. His voice became soft. Tell me, who's the person you like the most? I don't have someone that I like. I worship my brother San the most. Answered Mu Qingguan. The light in Yang Fang's eyes intensified. Your brother San wants you to take off your clothes. Quick, take off your clothes. The experts outside were enraged at this shamelessness. If Mu Qingguan did this, then once she recovered and realized what she had done, would she even want to live any longer? It was more malicious than killing a person. Right now, even the head judge's expression changed, and a vein pulsed on his head. Dense killing intent radiated from his eyes. Senior sister King Gyan you can't. The disciple propping Mu King Gyan cried out, but just at that moment, she fainted and collapsed. Mu King Gyan's eyes were lifeless, and she appeared bashful. It was unknown if that was the reservation of a young woman or her will to resist, but she didn't move her hands. Quickly, take them off. Your brother San is waiting. Yang Fang's voice was full of enticement. It was a voice that gave people chills. Finally, Mu King Gyan's hands reached toward her chest. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu cried out, screaming for her to stop. However, she didn't hear. They wanted to charge over, but Gu Fei sent them flying once again. Yang Fang grew excited, and he formed hand seals, pressing her, quickly, quickly, you've almost done it, you die, a voice rang out like a celestial god's furious roar, shaking the very heavens, this furious roar contained a supreme will, as a result, 
Yang Fang's head exploded, and this made Chu Kuang and the others jump in shock. As Devil Eye Yang Fang's headless corpse fell to the ground, blood flowed out of his neck. It's Long Chen. The experts outside cheered. That roar had come from Long Chen. He had finally reached the battlefield. Long Chen was extremely anxious about everything that he was seeing after he was schemed against. However, his thunder force wasn't strong enough to allow him to fly, so he could only run. And when he saw Devil Ai Yang Fang's attempt to humiliate Mu King Gaian like this, his fury soared. As soon as he was close enough, he gathered his spiritual strength for a roar, directly striking Devil Ai Yang Fang. If the latter hadn't been concentrating all of his spiritual strength on Mu King Gaian, this roar would only have injured him. However, with his spiritual strength scattered, this roar instantly threw his eye technique into chaos, and the explosion of spiritual strength destroyed his head, ending his life. While some people were shocked, the experts outside cheered. This devil I Yang Fang deserved death, so they were all delighted by this. Even the head judge sighed with relief inside. If Long Chen hadn't stopped Yang Fang, then even if the head judge had to take on the infamy of being a rule breaker, he would still have crushed Yang Fang. Worst case, he would simply give up his head judge position. After Devil I Yang Fang was killed, Long Chen shot out like a lightning bolt. At this moment, the unfettered alliance's disciples that were still fighting instantly found their pillar, and their morale soared. Long Chen don't enter the battlefield. They've set up a trap. Luo Ning shouted, but it was meaningless. The people in the competition couldn't hear the ones outside. Long Chen was already charging into the battlefield. As soon as he reached them, countless runes lit throughout the battlefield. Rays of light then converged on Long Chen. Scram. At the rear of the crowd, Tang Yeo Chen smiled coldly. He rapidly formed hand seals. Chapter 2909 Mu King Gaian admits defeat? Following Tang Yeo Chen's hand seals, runes lit up throughout the battlefield, and space began to twist. Tang Yeo Chen wants to send Long Chen back to the start again. He just got back. If he's sent back out, everything will be long over by the time he returns. Chu Kuang wants to anger Long Chen to death. He wants him to powerlessly watch as Mu King Gaian and the others are humiliated and killed. The disciples outside felt profound powerlessness when they saw these spatial runes. Chu Kuang was incredibly sinister. His schemes came one after another, leading people to despair. Seeing Long Chen be enveloped by those runes, people sighed. Despite Long Chen's power, Chu Kuang still had him in the palm of his hand. Chu Kuang had power, wealth, and powerful background. How were other people supposed to fight him? Just as everyone thought that Long Chen was about to be transported out again, a divine ring appeared behind him. Boom. Those runes wrapping around Long Chen were instantly blown apart by a seven-colored divine ring. Their fragments blew through the air, revealing Long Chen within. What the transportation formation was broken. Heavens. What cultivation technique is that rainbow ring? The rainbow divine ring behind Long Chen raged unleashing explosive power that shook the land and sky. Brother San, Mu King Gaian cried out. Now, this girl that had faced death without fear choked up. Good job. You've won face for your brother San. You should feel proud. The fighting of the martial path is no game, and the rules given are only obeyed by fools. The strong are always above the rules. Don't complain as every person can be above the rules, including you. It just means that the current you is still not strong enough, comforted Long Chen. The unfettered alliance's disciples drew back. As for the Prime Glory Alliance, they retreated back to their own camp. Both sides stared at each other. Boss San, I, sorry, I've made you lose face. Li Kei was helped up by others. His body felt like it was falling apart, but he forced himself to meet Long Chen directly. He was filled with shame. Before the battle started, they were filled with confidence, to the point of thinking about how to oppress Chu Kuang and the others. Now, they had only verified why Long Chen had called them naive. They were truly naive. They were practically unable to bear a single blow from Chu Kuang's powerful lineup. Thinking of how overconfident they had been, they had an urge to slam their heads into the ground and kill themselves. You did well. At the important moment, you were all real men. I am proud of all of you. Long Chen gave Li Kei a medicinal pill, 
It couldn't instantly heal him, but it would at least take away some of the pain. Brother San, we have to admit defeat. I don't want more of my brothers and sisters to sacrifice their lives for nothing, said Mu Qingyan bitterly. She looked at the corpses on the ground and wept. The people she had laughed and joked with were now lying on the ground. They would never get up again. Hence, her heart was breaking. She didn't want to see more of them die. The other side was too strong, and they didn't have a single chance. Most of all, she didn't want Long Chen to jump into a death trap. Chu Kuang had clearly laid down a trap for Long Chen. If he jumped in, he would definitely die. In the face of death, Mu Qingyan's wits grew sharper. She could already tell that Chu Kuang's ultimate goal was actually Long Chen. He was insulting and tormenting them just to provoke Long Chen, making him charge forward recklessly instead of admitting defeat. That way, he could freely kill Long Chen. No, we won't admit defeat. I'd rather die here than lower my head to these pieces of trash. I'll kill them. I've already gotten two, so I've profited. I can drag down a few more with me. Plants live one lifetime. Humans live one lifetime. Ba San has said that cultivation is to live with dignity. If we can't even have our dignity, what's the point of living? We already risked our lives today, and we'll continue to use our lives as evidence of our unfettered alliance's hot blood and unbending dignity. The unfettered alliance's disciples instantly cried out when Mu King Ian suggested that they gave up. The Prime Glory Alliance had gone too far, and someone had to make them pay a price. Hence, these disciples would rather die here than unwillingly live the rest of their lives, drifting meaninglessly. Over 70 members of the Unfettered Alliance were lying on the ground, dead. Hence, the others no longer felt fear, they only felt hatred. They had to kill. Ha ha ha, a group of ants also dares to be arrogant? Then come, if you have gods. Don't kneel and beg for mercy in a bit, sneered the opposing experts of the Prime Glory Alliance. Over twice the number of people had died from the Prime Glory Alliance. Also, some of them had shouted that they admitted defeat during a moment of danger and were transported out. Other than the hundred people inside the barrier lighting the lamps, Chu Kuang's side had less than a hundred people left. However, these hundred were the true experts of the group and they weren't afraid of the Unfettered Alliance's disciples at all. These experts were just waiting for Long Chen and the others to send themselves to their deaths, so they intentionally provoked them. Brother San, Mu Qingyan looked at Long Chen, too emotional to know what to do. Long Chen patted her shoulder softly. Leave it to me. Just protect yourselves. Some enmities can only be repaid with blood. There is no other path. Long Chen then left Mu Qingyan in the care of another female disciple. He walked forward, and the rest of the Unfettered Alliance's disciples immediately followed, clenching their weapons tightly. They were like a pack of wolves. As long as Long Chen said the word, they would charge. The craziness of these disciples was one part thanks to Long Chen's teachings, while the other part was thanks to Chu Kuang. He had repeatedly insulted them and Devil I Yang Fang had even tried to insult Mu Qingyan, the goddess of their hearts. Because of this, they no longer cared about their lives if they could get their vengeance. I didn't expect you to have some skill. You didn't fall for it, sneered Tang Yeochen from the rear. According to the original plan, Long Chen should have been sent out again and had to witness the unfettered alliance be wiped out. That would drive him crazy. That was the mission that Chu Kuang had given Tang Yeochen. But unexpectedly, Long Chen had broken free of the bindings of his formation, so he was rather incensed. No one can use the same move in front of me twice, said Long Chen coldly. It's Long Chen, right? You're very arrogant. I heard that your power is extremely strong. Try and receive a single attack from me. Seeing Long Chen draw everyone's attention like a ruler, Yuan Xing who was extremely displeased. He didn't have the patience for Tang Yeochen to waste words with Long Chen, and he directly smashed his rod at Long Chen. Chapter 2910 Power That Is Not Human Yuan Xing whose rod unleashed a wild gust of wind that stabbed like knives on the skin of the Unfettered Alliance's disciples. It almost stopped them right in their tracks. However, in the face of this attack, Long Chen didn't even look at him. His gaze was still on Tang Yeochen. He indifferently said, you schemed against me. Just at that moment, 
Yuan Xinghu's rod smashed onto him, but he raised his hand and caught it just like that. What all the people, both the disciples inside and the experts outside, were shocked. They had seen just how powerful Yuan Xinghu was. Even so, his full power attack was caught just like that, as if it was child's play. Hence, Yuan Xinghu was shocked and infuriated. He felt like his attack was like a clay ox that had fallen into the ocean, vanishing without a trace. He then tried to pull his rod back, but he found that it seemed to have become rooted in Long Chen's hand. He couldn't budge it. His arms flexed and his body shook as he tried to pull and push his rod. However, even after doing everything he could, it remained stuck. All the time, Long Chen's expression was indifferent, while Yuan Xinghu's face was turning purple. The experts outside were delighted to see this. The power that Long Chen displayed stirred them. Truly foolish. Luo Bing looked at Yuan Xinghu contemptuously. What was he doing? He was still trying to drag back a weapon that had been lost instead of letting go and running while he could. Holding the rod, Long Chen didn't seem to sense Yuan Xinghu's struggles. He then continued walking toward Tang Yeochen. Your actions have really displeased me. Furthermore, you used a formation to trap my berserk blood mammoth so that you could kill it. You were the ones who forced me to do this. I don't really like killing people, but you seem to really want to see me killing. Fine. I'll show you all boss Long San's true abilities today. Long Chen suddenly moved. With a flick of his wrist, Yuan Xinghu's giant body was lifted into the air easily. That terrifying power shook everyone's hearts. Power that is not human. The head judge murmured to himself. Yuan Xinghu began to fall. As for his rod, it was now swung toward him with greater power than he had ever wielded it with. No. In the air, Yuan Xinghu had no means to avoid it. He could only watch as his own rod smashed into his waist. Boom. Yuan Xinghu's giant body exploded into a mist of blood. He was left without a corpse. Seeing this scene, the other experts were silent. Long Chen still had the rod in his hand, while in front of the rod was a blood mist that was slowly scattering. This scene was terrifying. Even more than that, Long Chen's expressionless gaze that didn't have the slightest ripple due to what had just happened was horrifying. I wanted to kill Tang Yeochen first, but since you were in such a rush, I decided sending you off first was alright. Long Chen looked at the blood mist in the air. He slowly put down the rod and then turned toward Tang Yeochen. Sorry for that. Someone cut in front of you, but I'm sure you won't mind. A fierce sensation of death enveloped Tang Yeochen when he met Long Chen's gaze. His whole body quivered. However, with Chu Kuang, Li Chengbei, Xiang Kiji, and dozens of other experts in front of him, he felt that he should be safe. He sneered. Who do you think you are? You're just a trash ascender from a lower world, and your current accomplishments are all thanks to luck. Do you think that you're unbeatable? Do you think that you can kill me? Then come. Long Chen looked at him and gradually smiled disdainfully. I'm not a formation cultivator, but I have a brother who is, so I have some superficial knowledge of formations. That knowledge isn't really useful most of the time, but when it comes to killing you, Long Chen suddenly vanished. Just as everyone was stunned, he reappeared in front of Tang Yeochen like a phantom, grabbing the latter's throat. It should be enough. By the time he finished speaking, Tang Yeochen's life was in his hands. The experts around Tang Yeochen jumped because Long Chen had actually appeared in their midst in an instant. However, when they were about to attack him, he vanished once more, returning to his original location. But Tang Yeochen was still in his hand. He was truly like a phantom. By the time Chu Kuang and the others reacted, he was already gone. Chu Kuang and the others didn't understand and neither did the disciples watching. All they had seen was a blur. And then Tang Yeochen was in Long Chen's hands. They had no idea what Long Chen had done. Tang Yeochen was held in the air like a dead dog, filled with horror. He wanted to struggle, but he couldn't move. I want to kill you, and here I am. I, Long Chen, have said trash and foolish words before, but I have never said any empty words. Looking at Tang Yeochen's terrified gaze, Long Chen indifferently explained, When you first transported me back, I knew that you were starting a performance. Hence, when you started to activate the second transportation formation, I absorbed a bit of your formation's power. 
Although I only know a bit about formations, I'm capable of short-range teleportation with it. On the Martial Heaven continent, Long Chen had learned quite a bit about formations, but this branch of knowledge was too profound, and he was only capable of learning some fundamentals. He had done this because he was worried about fighting formation cultivators when Xia Chen wasn't present. Furthermore, he found that the Nine Star Hegemon body art possessed a strange ability to absorb a bit of energy no matter what kind of energy it was. Although he didn't really know how to use it, nor did he have time to study this topic. Today, he had absorbed a bit of the transportation formation's power when Tang Yeochen had tried to send him out again. Before this, Long Chen didn't immediately attack because he was calculating the spatial location, nodes, and distance based on the methods that Xia Chen had taught him. Fortunately, they were less than a hundred meters apart. If they were too far, this bit of energy that Long Chen had absorbed wouldn't have been enough. Furthermore, his calculations wouldn't have allowed him to teleport accurately. However, for such a short range, he succeeded on his first try. Tang Yeochen was now in Long Chen's hands, and his body suddenly quivered. After that, everyone saw his pants become wet. This genius who had quite a bit of fame in the Formation Institute had actually wet himself in terror. He was actually so weak. Hence, countless people looked at him contemptuously. I, Tang Yeochen's throat suddenly thickened and he forced out a shout. However, before he could admit defeat, Long Chen's hand tightened its hold. With a crack, Tang Yeochen's head was ripped off of his body. Chapter 2911 Contractual Soul Beast Devil I Yang Fang died by having his head explode. Yuan Xing who died from being smashed into blood mist. And the formation expert Tang Yeochen died with his head ripped off of his body. Just like that, Long Chen had killed three powerful experts without batting an eyelid. Moreover, those three had been famous existences amongst the Outer Academy's disciples but they still died in one move, unable to even last a single exchange against Long Chen. Because of this, the Prime Glory Alliance's disciples finally became afraid. With his phantom-like movements, who could stop him? Suddenly, clapping sounds rang out, and it was from Chu Kuang. He was smiling. Excellent. Only like this is it interesting. Only such an opponent can make this competition more marvelous. Long Chen, do you know? I spent all this money and wasted all this effort just to force out all your power. Then I will kill you in front of millions of people. You, Long Chen, will become my stepping stone. I'll let you know that whether it is your background, your wealth, or your power, you cannot compare to me. This battle will be my glorious entry to the Inner Academy. And through this battle, I will announce to those people in the Inner Academy that I am the king of the Outer Academy. And when I go to the Inner Academy, I will also be the king of the Inner Academy people were dumbfounded as to why Chu Kuang was still so confident after seeing Long Chen's power. Was Chu Kuang really so powerful? They then glanced toward Chu Huairan, only to find that he had a faint smile. It was as if he wasn't worried at all. There's no need for you to do anything. Don't forget our agreement. His head is worth a hundred million immortal crystals and a high-grade spirit item. The Soul Institute's Li Chengbei spoke for the first time. He was extremely skinny and rather pale, almost looking hungover. His voice was sharp and thin. Of course, my Chu family has plenty of money. The main thing is whether or not you have the ability to grasp that money, said Chu Kuang indifferently. Long Chen, your head is mine. Li Chengbei suddenly formed hand seals, and a giant figure appeared in front of everyone. It was a divine bird. Its feathers emitted divine light, and its aura shook the space where the competition was held. Heavens, that's a contractual soul beast. Li Chengbei hasn't advanced to the divine flame realm yet. How can he have formed a contract with a soul beast? I heard that Li Chengbei's soul beast is thanks to the Chu family, but no one knows how it was done. A contractual soul beast will grow alongside him. Its aura seems to be in the divine flame realm. How can they fight that? The divine bird spread its wings and slashed one of them at Long Chen like a blade. Long Chen then dodged, causing the wing to leave a deep trench in the ground. That terrifying power made the others jump. Long Chen's head is mine. Just at that moment, the red-haired Xiang Qiji attacked with a fiery spear. Flames exploded out of his body, 
and countless runes lit up on his spear until it was red with heat. Even through the formation, people felt like they could sense the terrifying heat, as they could see space twisting around him. Also, over ten other experts attacked at the same time. As for Chu Kuang, he simply stood there with his hands clasped behind his back, seemingly with no intention of interfering. We're going to help Brother San. Zhang Ling and the other experts were about to rush forward. It's nothing more than a group of useless fellows. There's no need for you to fight them, said Long Chen while dodging left and right, avoiding their attacks. Suddenly, he landed a punch on the divine bird's wing, and the explosion knocked both of them back. With death at hand, you still dare to be so arrogant Xiang Kiji sneered and took advantage of this opening to stab his spear right at Long Chen's throat. However, Long Chen's figure flashed, and that spear pierced right past his neck. Despite its terrifying heat, it didn't harm Long Chen in the slightest. Slipping through the spear, Long Chen then landed a ruthless slap on Xiang Kiji's face, sending him flying. What shocked everyone was that blood actually dripped down from Xiang Kiji's head. Long Chen had clearly slapped him, so it would make sense for blood to come from Xiang Kiji's face but not the top of his head, right? However, when they spotted the red hair in Long Chen's hand, they realized that Long Chen had not only slapped him, but he had also torn off a chunk of his scalp. It was just that Long Chen was so fast that most people were unable to see his movements clearly. Only a few experts saw his actions. I will return this to you. If you paste it back quickly, maybe it will latch back on, said Long Chen, tossing what was in his hand back to Xiang Kiji. Seeing this, Xiang Kiji roared furiously and smashed that piece of his scalp with his spear. His eyes were scarlet. After that, blood-colored runes appeared all over his body, and his blood chi ignited, causing his aura to soar to a new level. He was clearly infuriated. Holding nothing back, he wanted to kill Long Chen in one blow as vengeance for this humiliation. Earth-rending flame dragon spear. At this moment, a dragon-shaped mark appeared on Xiang Kiji's spear and a raging heat ignited the air. Playing with fire? Your boss San is the real ancestor in that department. Long Chen then sneered and slammed his palm forward, manifesting flame runes on his hand. Boom. The instant his palm met the spear, the spear lost its balance and ended up stabbing into an expert sneak attacking Long Chen from behind. That expert didn't have time to dodge or scream and instantly turned into a cloud of black smoke. This exchange gave people chills. The power of that spear was truly great. Surrounded by over ten powerful experts, Long Chen looked to be in danger. But every time things seemed to turn sour for him, he would slip through their attacks. None of their crazed attacks was able to touch him. An incense stick's worth of time then passed, but no one noticed. Not the ones fighting or the ones watching. At first, Long Chen's movements truly did seem to be the slightest bit rusty. But as he fought, his movements were growing more and more refined. It was as if he was gradually adapting to this battle. Suddenly, Long Chen grabbed Xiang Kiji's spear, and a sharp light appeared in his eyes. It was as if a blade had come out of its sheath. The warm-up ends here. You can die. Long Chen suddenly pushed the spear back into Xiang Kiji. An earth-shattering power passed through his spear before it pierced his own body. Chapter 2912 Long Chen erupts Although Xiang Kiji was wrapped in flames and his spear was incredibly powerful, Long Chen just casually shoved the spear into Xiang Kiji's body. As a result, the flames around his body vanished in an instant, revealing his bare body. Everyone clearly saw the spear piercing through his chest. The next moment, Xiang Kiji looked down in disbelief. Just before this, he had been forcing Long Chen to repeatedly dodge, clearly having the advantage, but now he was defeated in a single move. Hence, fear swarmed over his face. I admit just as he was about to admit defeat, the spear quivered, and he exploded before he could say the final word. Within the formation, as long as you said the words I admit defeat, you would be sent out. This rule had been modified over the years because some people had taken advantage of it, tricking opponents into saying words that included this phrase, resulting in them being transported out and losing what should have been a sure win for them. In order to patch this flaw, you would only be sent out if you said I admit defeat with nothing before or after. Xiang Kiji wished to admit defeat, but would Long Chen give him that chance? 
If Long Chen didn't kill them all, how could he face those disciples that had died? After killing Xiang Kiji, Long Chen didn't wait for the others to recover from their shock. He swept the spear out. The dragon-shaped mark then lit up, and a dragon cry could faintly be heard. Boom. The experts surrounding Long Chen were instantly devoured by flames. The Immortal Institute's Gu Fei had just recovered some energy and came charging back, but he stopped in his tracks when he saw Long Chen slay Xiang Kiji. However, before he could run, the flames swept him up. Ah, Gu Fei and the others screamed, trying to flee, but they could only see fire. On the other hand, the spectators saw some blurry figures moving toward the outer edge of the formation before they slowly faded. That sight shocked the experts outside. It seemed that this spear possessed even greater power in Long Chen's hands. Heavenly flame. Scarlet spirit flame. Some flame cultivators shouted in shock as they recognized the flame Long Chen was using. Long Chen was actually capable of controlling a heavenly flame. Furthermore, it did not seem to be limited to the power of a heavenly flame seed. During this time, Huo Long had been constantly absorbing the power of the companion ore. So its power now soared to a terrifying level. Li Chenbei was appalled. Other than him, everyone else attacking Long Chen was killed. So he immediately ordered his divine bird to flee. The divine bird then spread its wings and instantly appeared hundreds of meters away. Just as Li Chenbei thought that he had escaped this calamity, a flame spear shot out like a meteor, piercing through the divine bird and Li Chenbei who was on its back. The immense power of the spear blasted apart the soul beast and Li Chenbei. Directly after, the spear actually spun in the air and flew back into Long Chen's hand as if he was its owner. At this moment, Mu Qingyan and the others were shocked and delighted to see how powerful Long Chen was. He was practically unrivaled. He had killed over ten of the Prime Glory Alliance's top experts in an instant. Seeing this, the other disciples of the Prime Glory Alliance were terrified by Long Chen's power. They had never seen such a terrifying enemy. Long Chen then pointed his spear at Chu Kuang. By using a bunch of ants to test my power, are you looking down on me, ants? The disciples outside roared inside. If these people were ants, then what were they? It had to be known that Gu Fei, Li Chengbei, Xiang Kiji, Devil Ai Yang Fang, Yuan Xinghu, and the others were all existences that the rest of the Outer Academy's disciples could only look up to. In fact, they felt like they could spend a lifetime without being qualified to stand alongside these dead experts. However, such amazing figures were called ants by Long Chen. How were the rest of them supposed to live now? Chu Kuang nodded at Long Chen. Not bad. It seems that you've progressed once more after our last encounter. You must be very confident, right? But I always like beating people who are very confident. Chu Kuang grabbed his clothes and suddenly tore them off. Underneath his disciple robes, he revealed a skin tight body armor. This body armor seemed to be made from gold and silk and silver threads. Every single thread was covered in runes. Inscribing runes required a powerful medium, or it wouldn't be able to endure the power of the rune. For every thread to be able to have so many runes inscribed onto it signified that the material was incredibly precious. The full body armor was made of thousands and thousands of threads. Then the value of this body armor had to be enough to suffocate others. Although they didn't know what level of treasure it was, everyone knew it was definitely priceless. This bastard really has too much money. Cursed Luo Ning. Although the Luo family's wealth was not inferior to the Chu family's, even the family's top experts couldn't occupy so much of the family's resources alone. However, Chu Kuang was different. It was rumored that he was from the main bloodline, and more precisely, the bloodline of the family head. Hence, with his immense talent, he had been picked out to be the future family head and raised with the full might of the Chu family. That was why his financial power was unimaginable. Even though so many people had died, Chu Kuang still acted as if victory was in his grasp. He patted his armor. Do you see? This is the five element spirit gathering armor. It automatically absorbs the energy of the five elements in the surroundings for me, giving me an unending stream of power. Furthermore, this armor was specifically made for the Chu family's main bloodline. So it also purifies and strengthens my bloodline. Let me tell you some bad news. With this five element spirit gathering armor, 
Even without advancing to the Divine Flame Realm, I can already use the power of the Divine Flame Realm. I can easily unleash my divine abilities. Long Chen shook his head. Then let me tell you some bad news. You won't get to see tomorrow's sun because you've managed to infuriate me. Today, I will probably have to unleash my full power. Let me tell you, whenever I use my full power, even I get afraid. Ha 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 ha. Chu Kong laughed disdainfully. What a huge joke. You're still bragging now? If you really had that ability, then back in the lava cave, when you, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning were surrounding me, wouldn't you have unleashed your power to kill me? Why would you give up your only chance to kill me? Hearing this, everyone was startled. If all three of them had really surrounded Chu Kuang and he had still escaped unscathed, then Long Chen alone couldn't possibly beat him, right? Long Chen smiled. You must be very curious about that. Why did I only dodge when you activated your ancestral bloodline last time? Fine. I'll tell this secret to everyone. It's because of this. Chapter 2913 Every threat is priceless. Long Chen patted his own chest. When he looked down at his robes, a rare warmth appeared on his face. Last time, I didn't fight you directly because I was worried about damaging my robes. These clothes possess far too much meaning to me. Ha ha ha. This has to be the most shameless, most laughable excuse I've ever heard. Scoff Chu Kuang. That's fine. You can laugh if you want. Many people have asked me why I always wear these worn down clothes anyway, said Long Chen. Everyone then looked at him. His clothes were truly unbearably worn out with many patches. The threadwork that went into those patches was clearly coarse. It was done by someone who didn't have skill in needlework, and it was very likely Long Chen himself. Mu King Gaian and the others had asked Long Chen about his black robes many times, but he had never answered them. Now that he mentioned it, Mu King Gaian and the others' ears perked up. Even the people outside, including the head judge, were curious. It had to be known that Long Chen had always been destitute. However, he had been willing to give up his position as an instructor just because of these black robes. Long Chen rubbed his black robes, saying, these clothes were made by my loved ones just before the last battle of my world. Every thread contains their feelings. Every inch contains endless hope. These clothes are irreplaceable to me. Wearing them, I don't feel alone or afraid. Before I find my loved ones again, I will keep wearing these clothes. Every thread is priceless. Long Chen's voice was heavy, and his voice contained both grief and longing. Everyone could clearly feel his pain. I didn't expect this fellow to have such a sentimental side. Luo Ning was surprised. She hadn't expected Long Chen to have such an infatuation. He was actually so attached to one set of clothes. Hence, quite a few women watching were affected by his emotions. With his pride, he would definitely disdain telling such a lie. So they were willing to believe every word. Long Chen continued. Last time, my mortal chi had yet to fully regress. And with no immortal spiritual chi, I could not form a protective layer around my clothes. Fighting with you might have damaged them. In my eyes, your life isn't worth crap. So it wasn't worth the risk. Now do you understand? What bullshit. Even if you want to make up stories, you should know your limit. My life isn't worth some clothes? Do you take me for a fool? Sneered Chu Kuang. He was clearly angered by these insulting words. Long Chen looked at him indifferently. Do you think that you're not a fool? If you weren't a fool, you wouldn't have become enemies with me. If you weren't a fool, you wouldn't be wasting time talking with me. You think that you're stalling for time for the people inside to light the last two lamps and take the flag for victory. If you weren't a fool, you would have seen that Mu King Gaian's aura is slowly recovering. She has reached 70%. Is her recovery enough to affect the entire battlefield now? Chu Kuang was shocked. Only now did he notice that Mu King Gaian was hiding at the rear, rapidly recovering. The half-dead Li Ke was blocking his line of sight, drawing their attention. Hence, no one had noticed that Mu King Gaian was recovering. Not one of the countless eyes watching the battlefield had noted Mu King Gaian's tiny movements. They had all assumed that with her injuries, she could no longer rejoin the battle. Hence, everyone's attention had been on Long Chen. It was only through Long Chen's reminder that they realized that while Chu Kuang was scheming, Long Chen was also scheming. Kill them, 
Chu Kuang's expression finally changed and he shouted. As a result, the remaining disciples immediately charged out. As long as they weren't facing Long Chen, they didn't feel any fear. King Gian, kill them all and get to the altar. Leave Chu Kuang to me. I entrust the flag to you, said Long Chen. Brother San, don't worry. Mu King Gian had recovered 70% of her power with the help of Long Chen's medicinal pill, so she was full of confidence. As a sword cultivator, her weak physical body was a fatal weakness, but it had one benefit. Her recovery was also fast. Mu King Gian then led the unfettered alliance's disciples forward. In the very first clash, over ten of their enemies' weapons were broken. Mu King Gian's sword light was even sharper than before. With Mu King Gian at the front, the unfettered alliance's disciples blasted through their midst. After Gu Fei, Xiang Kiji, Tang Yeochen, Li Chengbei, Yang Fang, and the others were killed by Long Chen, none of the others could compare to them. Although Mu King Gian was only at 70% of her full power, no one from the Prime Glory Alliance could stop her. Upon seeing this, Chu Kuang's expression changed. He had schemed and schemed, but he had never thought that Mu King Gian's recovery would be so fast. Now, the Prime Glory Alliance was in danger. He suddenly stamped on the ground, choosing to kill Mu King Gian first. Even if he didn't kill her, giving her a heavy injury would be enough. However, just as he moved, a hand came from a bizarre angle and struck him in the face. Long Chen seemed to have expected Chu Kuang's way of thought. Just as Chu Kuang's gaze changed, Long Chen moved, arriving in front of him. He perfectly predicted Chu Kuang's movements. Some of the senior experts outside were shocked. Long Chen not only saw through Chu Kuang's intentions, but he also accurately judged Chu Kuang's path and launched his attack before Chu Kuang even moved. Now it was as if Chu Kuang had simply jumped into Long Chen's moving palm. Such a thing was only possible for a powerful expert toying with someone far weaker. It required sharp observation skills, experience, and accurate calculations, as well as many other factors. But Long Chen had done it to Chu Kuang. As a result, Chu Kuang was sent flying before he even understood what happened. While being wrapped in multiple lights, Chu Kuang smashed into a giant mountain many miles away. He was like a cannonball, smashing straight through the mountain. The top part of the mountain then collapsed, sending boulders flying. Damn, what kind of power is this? The spectators were stunned. A slap in the face could send someone multiple miles away? Was that something a mortal transcendence disciple was capable of? If it weren't for Chu Kuang's five element spirit gathering armor, that one slap might have killed him. This power is truly stunning, murmured Heaven Master Yan Yang. The five colored light around Chu Kuang was the automatic protection of the five element spirit gathering armor. Hence, other than a very clear handprint swelling on his face, Chu Kuang wasn't injured. However, the slap made him dizzy and he was unable to differentiate north from south, east from west. Just as he was regaining his orientation, a flame spear pierced through the air at him. Chapter 2914 Heaven Shaking Aura The spear flew through the air silently. It was incredibly fast. So fast that Chu Kuang didn't even sense it before he was hit by it. Boom. Chu Kuang was sent flying once more, bouncing several more miles and leaving large holes in the ground. And all of a sudden, a figure appeared and caught the spear. That was Long Chen. He had caught up and now chased after Chu Kuang. He was clearly intent on forcing Chu Kuang away from the altar. He wanted to fight away from it. Chu Kuang finally stabilized himself, but not before he coughed up a mouthful of blood. Although he had the five element spirit gathering armor protecting him, his insides were still shaken. At the same time as people were amazed by Long Chen's attacks. They were also amazed by the five element spirit gathering armor. Its defensive powers were truly great. Those two attacks of Long Chen's were inconceivably powerful. But Chu Kuang's five element spirit gathering armor was still able to block both of them. His aura didn't change. Although he coughed up blood, that little injury was nothing to him. At this moment, Long Chen reached Chu Kuang again and stabbed his spear at him once more. All of a sudden, a blood-colored saber appeared in Chu Kuang's hand, and he swung it at Long Chen's spear. But just at this moment, Long Chen released his spear, 
which instantly vanished when it was struck by an overwhelming power. The feeling of having all his power be spent on smacking away a spear with no power in it threw Chu Kuang off. It was like he had struck air, and his body staggered from his own power. After that, Long Chen spun through the air and slapped him once more, this time with even greater power. People even spotted some faint ripples in the air when Long Chen's hand struck Chu Kuang's face. They then saw Chu Kuang's face deform, and he shot out like a cannonball again, flying even further this time. After three blows, he had been forced back dozens of miles. It was both shocking and funny. Big sister, what is Long Chen doing? He could clearly cause Chu Kuang real injuries. Why is he only slapping him? Asked Luo Ning. Although she did feel like Long Chen's slaps were very satisfying, such a thing wouldn't be able to cripple Chu Kuang. Furthermore, it seemed he had done this just to get Chu Kuang away from the altar. In her view, this was incomprehensible. Luo Bing shook her head. I can't tell either. Perhaps he hates Chu Kuang so much that he wants to humiliate him. But then is he not worried about Mu King Gaian and the others? Luo Ning couldn't help looking toward the altar. Although Mu King Gaian was powerful, she didn't have much physical power as a sword cultivator, so she couldn't fight for long. Furthermore, breaking the barrier would need even more energy. If the other side simply stalled and exhausted her, Long Chen and the others would still lose. Perhaps Long Chen believes in Mu Kinguin. Well, we shouldn't randomly guess. We can't tell what Long Chen's thinking, since it's not like we can help him anyway. Just choose to trust him, said Luo Bing. Long Chen was an incomprehensible existence. They might as well simply watch. As Long Chen forced Chu Kuang away from the altar, Mu King Gaian and the other disciples of the Unfettered Alliance were trampling over the Prime Glory Alliance's disciples. The latter were hand-picked experts of the Chu family. In truth, their power was more than a single level higher than the Unfettered Alliance's disciples. However, in the face of these fearless, reckless madmen, they were terrified. How was this a competition? This was an undying vengeance and they were like ghouls, seeing the people around them being cut down one by one. The Prime Glory Alliance's disciples were too afraid to fight properly. One of them had his arm cut off and immediately shouted, I admit defeat. He then transformed into a white light and was transported out. He was safe but had lost his right to continue participating in the competition. Hold on. As long as we can endure, we'll win. Mu King Gaian is almost out of power shouted one of the minor leaders of the Prime Glory Alliance. He was actually stronger than most of them, but he didn't dare to face Mu King Gaian directly. Hence, he stayed away from her, waiting for her to run out of energy. However, that meant that no one could stop Mu King Gaian. With every slash of her sword, a disciple was killed. Those disciples didn't even have a chance to admit defeat. I admit defeat. I admit defeat. The terrified disciples of the Prime Glory Alliance simply didn't have the morale to keep fighting. When Mu King Gaian approached, they fled. They would rather not get any reward and keep their life. Bastards, there's no need to admit defeat. Retreat back into the barrier shouted the leader. They couldn't continue fighting like this. If they did, before Mu King Gaian was exhausted, all of them would be gone. Following his new orders. The remaining disciples of the Prime Glory Alliance retreated back into the barrier and finally had a chance to breathe. Mu King Gaian and the others would need to break the barrier to enter. Everyone, focus on lighting the lamps. We'll grab the flag before they can break the barrier shouted the leader. He saw that everyone was terrified and no longer had the heart to keep fighting. If he ordered them to go out to disturb Mu King Gaian and the others, it was unlikely that they would listen. In truth. Ignoring the others, even he himself didn't dare to do so. Hence, all of them gathered at the core of the altar and poured in their energy. The final two lamps had red strips at the bottom to show how much energy they had. Once it was maxed out, the flag would pop out of the altar, and whichever side grabbed it first would win. With the Prime Glory Alliance's disciples hunkered down inside the barrier, Mu King Gaian assaulted the barrier, but it was extremely tough so she was unable to break it in an instant. Watching as the progress bars on the lamps quickly advanced, it seemed that they would be done in an incense stick's worth of time. Seeing this, Mu King Gaian grew anxious. 
the flag was inside the barrier. If they didn't break the barrier, they would have no chance of obtaining it and would still lose. Everyone, attack, shouted Mu Kingayan. In truth, there was no need for her order. Everyone was already attacking the barrier with all their might. As Mu Kingayan attacked the barrier, she also looked at Long Chen's side, feeling worried about him. Boom. Just at this moment, an explosion shook the battlefield, and a vast aura soared into the sky. This immense power changed the color of the wind and clouds. Chapter 2915 I'll be a butcher today Chu Kuang has activated his bloodline divine ability Luo Bing watched the battle unfold gravely. Chu Kuang's blood chi was erupting, and everything within 300 meters of him was inundated with his bloodline runes. Last time, he had activated his bloodline power in the lava cave, but this time, its aura was 10 times greater. Luo Bing guessed that it was partially due to Chu Kuang holding back last time, while the other reason was due to the five element spirit gathering armor, which was a special bloodline spirit item. It was connected to his bloodline power, and the resonance between them caused such a phenomenon. The current Chu Kuang was so powerful that even divine flame disciples felt suffocated. This aura was coming through the formation, but it was still so terrifying. Long Chen. Didn't you want to see my true power? Then I'll show it to you today. Chu Kuang's voice was dripping with bloody killing intent. Clearly, he was completely enraged by Long Chen's previous attacks. Try and receive my saber Chu Kuang roared, his hair flying back. At this moment, his saber and the five element spirit gathering armor lit up with runes. A flood of light then poured into his saber, and a giant saber image tore toward Long Chen. Boom. Wherever the saber image went, the ground was torn apart. The location that Long Chen had been was now a giant ditch where dust and rubble billowed in every direction. The experts watching were dumbfounded by this attack. Luo Bing covered her mouth, filled with disbelief. The Luo and Chu families were old enemies, so she was very familiar with the Chu family's techniques. However, she had not expected Chu Kuang to be so powerful. Originally, with her bloodline activated, she had thought that she could match Chu Kuang. At the very least, she should have the ability to fight him without being instantly crushed. However, this attack was absolutely terrifying, let alone her. Even her big sister Luo Bing couldn't receive such a blow. Where is Long Chen? Within the billowing dust, no one could see Long Chen's figure. Was he killed? He couldn't even dodge. Such a terrifying move probably contains a locking power. It's not so easy to dodge. They were unable to spot Long Chen even after a while of searching. So quite a few people began to sigh. On the other hand, Chu Huiiren and the other magistrate smiled disdainfully. It was as if everything was within their expectations. However, those smiles quickly vanished. When the dust settled, they saw a figure slowly appear. What? Novaloon.com when their line of sight cleared, they finally saw a black figure with a spear on his shoulder. His clothes and hair slowly fluttered in a light breeze. Most shocking of all was the 300 meter ring of light behind Long Chen. They could see the energy of heaven and earth converging into that ring. It was a seven colored divine ring, but the colors were vague and moving within the ring. Some colors would float up for a while and then fade back in. At this moment, the space around Long Chen was twisting and fluctuating. What kind of cultivation technique is that? It's the Seven Supreme Yang technique. It was the consummate technique of the Seven Supreme sect back in the ancient era. It's an extremely powerful cultivation technique, but its inheritance was severed countless years ago. Even our academy only has a fraction of the full technique. Furthermore, the most important part of how to transfer and transform the metal would Water, fire, earth, wind, and lightning energies has been lost. No one can train in it. How can Long Chen possess such a technique? Even Heaven Master Yun Yang was shocked. He was familiar with the God Institute's cultivation techniques and skills. Since he had skimmed through all the texts in every area, he recognized this technique. Did Long Chen use his own intelligence and imagination to replace the missing portion? wondered one of the God Institute's Earth-ranked instructors. He had seen this technique in a damaged scroll decades ago. He had felt it to be incredibly profound, but the important part was missing, so it couldn't be cultivated. Moreover, 
He had actually spent a few years researching and testing it but had failed to fix the missing part. Ignoring the time wasted, he had almost become bedeviled. At that last moment, he was so frightened that he directly gave up on this technique. Now seeing Long Chen summon the seven color divine ring, he thought of his own efforts. Heaven Master Yun Yang shook his head. It's impossible. That seven supreme yang technique is too profound, and it's from the ancient era. The cultivation style is different from the current era. Only a grand master who cultivates an ancient cultivation technique could possibly repair such a technique. With Long Chen's age, no matter how intelligent he is, it's impossible. He might already possess the complete seven supreme yang technique before this. Although its complete form has been lost in the immortal world, maybe a complete copy still exists in the myriad worlds of the lower plane. Heaven Master Yun Yang tried to make an educated guess based on his experience, and it made others nod. It sounded plausible. After all, it was unknown just how many brilliant sages had tried to repair the seven supreme yang technique in the academy, but they all failed. If Long Chen was capable of it, that would simply be a fantasy story. Just as everyone was guessing, the dust around Long Chen settled. The 300-meter area around him was still untouched. So he was standing on a circular island in the middle of a giant ditch. Chu Kuang's attack had ravaged the land, and only the area beneath Long Chen's feet remained unscathed. It was a shocking sight. When the dust settled, the cold wind also slowly faded. As a result, Long Chen's black robes and hair stopped fluttering, and the world returned to calm. Chu Kuang looked at Long Chen with overflowing killing intent. Long Chen looked at Chu Kuang as well. He slowly smiled. This is your so-called power? You're still thinking of holding back now? I cannot imagine just how foolish you are. It seems that your usual opponents are all too weak, causing you to get into a habit of acting like a pig to eat the tiger. Fine. Since you want to be a pig, I'll be a butcher today. As Long Chen made his move, his divine ring shuddered. The world suddenly dimmed, as if all its energy was instantly sucked away. At this moment, the island around Long Chen crumbled, and he vanished, charging at Chu Kuang like a bolt of lightning. Wild Lightning Soul Battle Spear A layer of lightning enveloped Long Chen's spear as it pierced toward Chu Kuang. Chapter 2916 Chu Hua Iron's confidence within the multicolored divine ring behind Long Chen. His true divine ring revolved. Of the six colors, Half went clockwise, and half went counterclockwise. The power within heaven and earth was absorbed into Long Chen's body. This was Long Chen's first time using the divine ring at full power in the immortal world, and he found that it was even easier to use it here than in the mortal world. His perception then spread as his divine ring revolved. He even saw beyond the formation and everyone in the plaza. Could it be that the nine-star hegemon body art is actually a cultivation technique from the immortal world? Only in the immortal world can it unleash its greatest power. A thought flashed through Long Chen's mind, but his spear was already stabbing toward Chu Kuang. Idiot. Do you think you're worth me using my full power? Chu Kuang was shocked by the power of Long Chen's divine ring, but he was also infuriated by his words. Hence, his saber's light multiplied and he slashed it at Long Chen. Boom. The two weapons smashed into each other and unleashed an explosion of divine light. Countless runes flew through the air. At the same time, the ground beneath their feet crumbled, and the cracks spread for miles. Their weapons continued to clash, and they both glared at each other. As their power rose, the cracks continued to spread. Heavens, are they really human? What level of power is that? Are they really the same as us? Are they in the mortal transcendence realm? Why is it that I feel like I wouldn't even be able to get close before being crushed? Did Long Chen know that this would happen? Is that why he pushed Chu Kuang away from the altar? People grew more and more shocked. These two were both monsters. How could they be so powerful? They're incredibly powerful. But how is Long Chen so strong? Exclaimed Luo Ning. Chu Kuang was assisted by his armor and weapon, but Long Chen had no such thing. Even his weapon was something he had just acquired from someone else. He was relying entirely on his own power to fight, which was the most shocking thing. The ground beneath their feet continued to rumble. Eventually, it began to sink, and a giant hole quickly appeared around them. Long Chen, I admit that you truly have some power, 
But you can't beat me. My power isn't something that you can imagine, said Chu Kuang. The power of his saber continued to slowly rise. However, no matter how much it rose, he was unable to shake Long Chen. Long Chen stared at him solemnly. The first time I saw you, I particularly disliked you and wanted to slap you. At first, I thought it was because you were someone powerless acting arrogant or someone so ugly but still prancing around. But later on, I felt that this was the wrong reason. Then I suspected that it was because of the relationship between the Chu family and the Luo family. However, that also seemed off. Today, while fighting you, I find that I am detesting you more and more. I have a feeling that the answer will soon be revealed. You'll pay a painful price for your ignorance. Chu Kuang sneered. His saber's runes suddenly blazed with light, and his power instantly rose close to 30%. As a result, Long Chen's spear was pushed back, and the saber approached Long Chen's neck. Novaloon.com Even so, Long Chen didn't reveal any hint of astonishment in his expression. Just as his spear was being pushed back, his left hand became covered in white dragon scales and slapped Chu Kuang's in his sneering face. Boom. Because Chu Kuang hadn't expected Long Chen to suddenly launch an attack with his left hand, his body was smashed through the earth until he was embedded into a mountain. As a result, this large mountain shuddered, became covered in cracks, and then collapsed. The spectators were all dumbfounded. Just what kind of monster was Long Chen? According to reason, while fighting Chu Kuang who was using his full power, he shouldn't have the power to attack with his other hand. But he had still done so. The only way this was possible was if he wasn't using his full power to stop Chu Kuang's saber. Even all that wasn't his full power? Then Long Chen definitely wasn't human. He was a demon. Originally, many people were angered by Chu Kuang's flagrant cheating and the Chu family's magistrate's words. They also felt some sympathy for the weaker side. So they cheered for Long Chen to win. But upon seeing this power, they were dumbfounded. Just who exactly was the weaker side? Just who was acting like a pig to eat the tiger? Just who were they supposed to sympathize with? This aura, it seems to be the dragon race's energy. As expected, it's not the power of a human. The head judge's eyes flickered with light as he looked at Long Chen. He was one of the very few people to spot the dragon scales that had appeared on Long Chen's palm. He had previously judged that Long Chen's power was not the power of a human. However, he hadn't been able to tell just what kind of power it was. But this slap revealed Long Chen's dragon scales and aura, allowing the head judge to guess. Right now, the disciples stared at the giant ditch as well as the broken mountain. They were deathly silent. Even the other magistrates' expressions changed. But Chu Hua Iron remained calm. He confidently said, It's fine. The young master has plenty of trump cards. He's still evaluating Long Chen to see just how many of them he should use. After all, it is the competition for the family head position that is truly important. Exposing too much here is meaningless. In the High Firmament Academy, no one in the Outer Academy is a match for him. Chu Hua Iron then looked at the head judge, and he saw that the head judge was also looking at him. Both of them smiled, but each person's smile contained different implications. Boom. The collapsed mountain exploded, and from within the swirling dust and flying rubble, Chu Kuang walked out. When all of them saw Chu Kuang, they couldn't help being shocked. After receiving such a powerful attack, someone else would have died a hundred times. But Chu Kuang was still fine. Long Chen, you've really pissed me off. Have a taste of my fury. Chu Kuang's hair was a bit messy from walking out of the rubble, but his gaze contained a frightening light as well as endless killing intent. He suddenly raised his head and roared. After that, four balls of light appeared behind his back. When that light appeared, Luo Bing and Luo Ning both turned pale. They shot out of their seats. Impossible. Chapter 2917 Four Divine Beast Golden Body Four Divine Beast Golden Body. This time, even the head judge was moved. He felt disbelief when he saw those four balls of light behind Chu Kuang. As the four balls of light appeared, golden runes lit up around Chu Kuang's body. It was as if his body was made of gold, emitting dazzling golden light. Moreover, when he summoned the four divine beast golden body, his power erupted like a volcano. His aura shook the very heavens. As a result, 
The experts throughout the plaza were all stupefied. How could Chu Kuang have hidden his true power so deeply? It's over. Wasn't the Four Divine Beast Golden Body a technique that only the Chu family's four peak experts could barely activate? Now that Chu Kuang has activated it, there's no hope for Long Chen. Luo Ning felt despair. The Four Divine Beast Golden Body was something that caused an endless headache for the Luo family in their battles against the Chu family. After the Chu family was defeated the first time, they had come back with such a consummate technique. With the support of their ancestral blood, they ignited their blood chi, allowing their power to soar to an unimaginable level. This was the technique that allowed the Chu family to create a solid foundation for themselves again. However, it had harsh requirements. Normally, only a four-peak expert could barely satisfy those requirements and cultivate this technique. But now Chu Kuang had done it in the mortal transcendence realm. Seeing the golden light around Chu Kuang's body and his raging blood chi that caused the air to shudder, Luo Bing and Luo Ning felt like they had fallen into a nightmare. Chu Hua Iron smiled when he saw this technique. Clearly, he was the one clearest on Chu Kuang's true power. It was due to this that he was so confident. Moreover, seeing the head judge's shocked expression, he was particularly satisfied. Just as everyone's gaze was focused on Chu Kuang, there was an elder outside of the plaza slowly sweeping the leaves on the ground with a broom. The elder shook his head and sighed. Destiny draws enemies together. Without even looking at the plaza, he continued sweeping, as if unconcerned with anything happening in the outside world. Long Chen was also astonished by those lights. This aura, it seems a bit similar to the nine-star hegemon body art, but it's extremely loathsome. This feeling, it seems as if, a flicker of different killing intent shone in Long Chen's eyes. He seemed to have found the reason why he instinctively loathed Chu Kuang. Long Chen, Chu Kuang howled and the golden light on his body erupted. At the same time, the ground beneath him split apart, and the rubble behind him exploded. Even before attacking, his aura can break mountains. Just what level has Chu Kuang's power reached? The current Chu Kuang was surrounded by raging astral winds. It was as if his power could devour the heavens. Golden runes flowed like the tides around him, forming a golden sea. Everything within this golden sea was affected. Even the earth began to collapse and sink. However, this golden domain stopped a few dozen miles from the altar, which showed that its range was limited. Mu King Ian stared in shock. She had never dreamed that Chu Kuang's power would surpass everyone's expectations by so much. Hence, her heart sank, feeling worried for Long Chen. Don't worry, leave things here to me. You just need to get the flag. Just as she was full of worry and searching for Long Chen's figure within the Golden Sea, Long Chen's voice rang out in her mind. Mu King Ian was startled. Long Chen was actually able to give her a spiritual transmission from so far away? Furthermore, he was still capable of keeping an eye on their side? Since this was the case, her confidence was boosted, and she felt like some kind of energy was poured into her. After that, she crazily attacked the barrier. Since Long Chen had left the flag to her, then even if she had to die, she would accomplish this mission. Long Chen, face your death. Chu Kuang suddenly stamped on the ground, causing a large hole to collapse. He shot toward Long Chen. Due to how fast he was, he left behind a mass of afterimages behind him. By the time people reacted, he was already in front of Long Chen. In the face of this furious assault, Long Chen's body flickered. He narrowly dodged it, allowing the saber to strike the land and create another huge ditch. Just at that moment, he slapped Chu Kuang in the face again. However, golden light exploded, and Long Chen was blown back at the same time as Chu Kuang. After that, the two of them stabilized 300 meters from each other. Long Chen shook out his hand. Your skin really is thick. I actually can't beat it. Just now, although his slap had landed, his palm became numb. It felt like needles were stabbing it. Clearly, this four divine beast golden body didn't just strengthen Chu Kuang's physical body, but it also increased the power of his armor. Chu Kuang was enraged. Although he wasn't injured, he had been slapped in the face once again. This humiliation felt more unbearable than being killed for him. Die. Out of rage, Chu Kuang charged at Long Chen once more. 
and a blood-colored rune appeared in his eyes. As this happened, Long Chen's body tightened. He was actually locked down by some mysterious energy. Chu Kuang was aware of Long Chen's extensive combat experience after having suffered at the latter's hands multiple times. If he didn't use this bloodline locking art of his, he wouldn't be able to strike Long Chen. However, using this technique increased the burning rate of his bloodline power. Try and dodge this, roared Chu Kuang, his saber slashing through the air with a thunderous sound. Boom. Being locked down, Long Chen couldn't dodge. So he smashed his spear toward Chu Kuang. As a result, when his spear met the saber, a giant explosion shook the land. Long Chen's spear exploded. As for Long Chen, he shot back and smashed into a steep cliff, creating a new human-shaped hole in it. Cracks then spread around this hole, covering the entire stone mountain. Long Chen, Luo Bing and Luo Ning covered their mouths, fraught with worry. Long Chen's weapon was no divine spear, so it couldn't block Chu Kuang's saber. Everyone fell deathly silent, looking at Long Chen who wasn't moving. It couldn't be that he died. Such a terrifying attack. If it was someone else, they would have died an unknown number of times. However, all of a sudden, Long Chen began to move, and the cracks in the cliff spread. Just as Long Chen jumped out, the entire mountain collapsed. He didn't die. Seeing him walking out of the cliff, Luo Bing and Luo Ning cheered. Chapter 2918 Fierce Battle Between the Tiger and Dragon How Dangerous Long Chen brushed the rubble off of him and then examined his clothes. Not seeing any new damage, he sighed with relief. Seeing Long Chen care so much for those clothes, everyone knew that he wasn't injured. They found it funny instead. On the other hand, Chu Huiyuan's expression gradually turned ugly. Just now, Chu Kuang hadn't held back with that attack, and the result of it was that Long Chen's weapon was destroyed, but he himself was fine. Chu Kuang's attack hadn't even broken Long Chen's protective chi. Otherwise, his clothes would have been blown apart. Because of this, Chu Huiyuan's confidence began to fade, and a bad feeling rose from the bottom of his heart. This feeling kept growing stronger and stronger. Long Chen patted the dust off of his clothes and then unhurriedly looked at Chu Kuang. It seems that for the sake of my clothes, I can also no longer remain Loki. I should warn you, I'm going to start using my real power now. You might lose in just a few moves. So if you have any trump cards, you should use them now. Otherwise, don't cry to the Yama King when you get slaughtered in a bit and say that I didn't give you a chance. An uproar exploded amongst the spectators. What kind of situation was this? Long Chen was also holding back? Even at this point, he wasn't using his full power? Were they really humans? What nonsense. You're still saying big words with death at hand. I will kill you right now in front of everyone. Chu Kuang shot after Long Chen once more, not using any flashy moves. He simply locked Long Chen down with his bloodline power. After that, his saber fell, causing ripples to appear in the air. Luo Bing and Luo Ning's hearts clenched. Long Chen didn't even have a weapon, so how could he block this? They hoped for Long Chen to be able to suddenly take out a divine weapon. Perhaps then, he would have a chance. But they had never seen Long Chen use some amazing weapon. Furthermore, he was currently rolling up his sleeves. What is he doing? After he had rolled up his sleeves, he bent his body slightly like a leopard preparing to pounce. His gaze instantly became as sharp as a sword. He then formed hand seals and shouted, Heaven and earth, land and sky, the blue dome of the firmament, summon the stars. Novaloon.com multiple starry rivers suddenly appeared within Long Chen's divine ring, forming a star diagram. When that star diagram appeared, a pillar of light erupted into the sky with Long Chen at the center. After that, a power from above the starry sky manifested. This pillar of light pierced through the formation around the battlefield. Everyone clearly saw it pierce high above the nine heavens. Following that, a terrifying power descended from above the heavens, going straight toward Long Chen. The stars in his star diagram were originally dim, but when this power descended, those stars instantly blazed with light. The light pillar then exploded, transforming into runes. It was like a star had exploded, and it lit up the entire world like millions of fireflies. It was both illusory and real. It's the forbidden technique. Starry River of the Sky Art. 
several experts cried out, recognizing this technique. Perhaps the youngsters didn't know of it, but amongst the senior generation, almost everyone recognized it. That was because the starry river of the sky art had once lured countless heavenly geniuses into cultivating it, and it resulted in countless deaths. After that sensation, the academy classified it as a forbidden art. Without the express approval of someone at the level of an institute head, it was forbidden for anyone to read it. This technique was too bizarre and domineering. It was famed for being ominous, which was why the senior experts recognized it. It was precisely because they recognized it that they were so shocked. Just the seven supreme yang technique that Long Chen had previously revealed was already shocking enough. Now that he had also taken out the starry river of the sky art, merging the manifestations of two different cultivation techniques into one, everyone was shocked. He forcibly merges two completely different cultivation techniques into one? How is that possible? The experts watching felt like they had gone mad. This made no sense. Such a thing completely broke the iron laws of cultivation. At this moment, the divine ring behind Long Chen revolved and the star twinkled. As the astral energy rushed through his body, he could sense the countless stars up above the heavens, as if they were watching him. Even though he no longer dared to touch their power after that incident, he still felt the ephemeral connection to them. It was a strange feeling. That mysterious expert had said that if he wanted to use their power, he would have to condense the seventh star first. Otherwise, it would be no different from suicide. Last time, he had failed to gather that astral energy and almost died. But that failure still gave him the experience. He could now sense the position of every star in the sky. And he felt as if every star in his body corresponded to one of those stars. It was a profound feeling. This was his first time using his astral energy in the immortal world. Hence, he was immersed in the feeling, almost forgetting that he was in the middle of a battle. Just at that moment, Chu Kuang's saber fell toward him, and without even thinking about it, Long Chen punched at it with a scale-covered fist. Boom. As a result, a powerful explosion shook the battlefield, and a wave of runes exploded in every direction. It was as if the sun had exploded from his punch. Chu Kuang hacked up blood and tumbled away. What Chu Hua Iron leaked out of his seat. Stunned. Did he just receive an attack from a spirit item with his bare hand? Everyone was shocked. With just a body of flesh and blood, Long Chen could face spirit items. Furthermore, it was a spirit item with a bloodline inheritance. Was he a devil beast in human form? Chu Kuang smashed through multiple mountains, causing them to collapse. It was a dizzying sight. In the immortal world, using the nine-star hegemon body art is much easier. Only in the immortal world can it unleash its greatest potential. Long Chen sensed the astral energy surging through his body, and that power made him feel like the ruler of the world, like an unrivaled sovereign. He had never experienced this feeling. It was as if all others should submit to him. With just three steps, Long Chen appeared in front of Chu Kuang again and he unleashed a stamp of his foot. So fast, startled cries rang out. Long Chen was practically teleporting. He was so fast that they couldn't even track him. Chu Kuang had barely climbed out of the dirt when Long Chen's foot landed. As a result, another huge explosion caused a giant hole to appear in the ground. This tough battlefield was like paste in front of Long Chen. With a single attack, the terrain was changed. Dust and sand flew about. Chu Kuang managed to block Long Chen's foot with his saber, but as Long Chen pressed down, Chu Kuang sank deeper and deeper. He couldn't knock Long Chen away. It felt like an entire world was crashing down upon him, and no matter what he did, he couldn't shake Long Chen off. He felt like was going to be crushed. Bastard. Die. Chu Kuang suddenly roared and the four balls of light behind him revolved. The power of the God Path erupted. Chapter 2919 The God Path's Power Boom The four balls of light behind Chu Kuang blazed with golden light. At this moment, the earth shuddered. Even the people outside the formation felt like the earth was shaking. Golden light then exploded around Chu Kuang, gushing out in every direction. A terrifying God energy radiated from him, and it created forceful astral winds that made the hole they were in even larger. God energy. Has Chu Kuang left his Tao doctrine in the lower plane and begun gathering faith energy? He hasn't ignited his divine flame yet. 
How can he gather faith energy? It's not necessarily impossible. Some ancient families have secret arts that can implant divine seeds in some immortal sprouts' bodies. As long as the lower world's Tao doctrine is planted into Chu Kuang's spiritual mark, then those people won't know that when they worship the divine statue, the faith energy will go to Chu Kuang. The question is whether or not Chu Kuang's spiritual strength can endure the impact of that power. For a moment, people could only wonder in amazement at just how much effort the Chu family had put into raising Chu Kuang. They had even prepared his path for faith energy so early. In the academy, the main reason for the God Institute and the Immortal Institute's divide was because the Immortal Institute's disciples looked down on this kind of cultivation method. Divine statues that were worshipped by others would create faith energy. It could then be used to cultivate or for battle. The more followers, the greater the faith energy. Some god cultivators would use their faith energy to help their believers walk proper cultivation paths. However, such people were rare. The majority of them were like blood-sucking leeches. They absorbed that faith energy only for their own use and imparted extreme beliefs onto their believers ordering them to increase the number of believers no matter what in order to maximize the amount of faith energy they could absorb. For example, amongst the many god inheritances that Long Chen had come into contact with, there were those like the wealth god and the wine god whose main directive was not to spread their own beliefs, but to guide people to the correct cultivation path. However, the majority were like the corrupt god, the killing god, Lord Brahma, fallen day night, and the like. They only wished to spread and make demands on their believers, taking their faith energy, essentially treating them as fools. As for immortal cultivators, they sought to comprehend the heavenly deos, using the heavens as a mirror and the Tao as the base. They measured heaven and earth, seeking the mysteries of the deos in the world. They relied on their own power to raise their cultivation base, unlike gods. Thus, to the immortal cultivators, God cultivators were contemptible tricksters. One relied on their own efforts, while the other relied on conning others. This naturally resulted in the immortal cultivators looking down on God cultivators. For God cultivators to obtain greater faith energy, they needed greater backgrounds to carve out their own territories. They would pass their power through the wall of ascension to imprint their marks on divine statues of the lower world. It sounded simple, but such a thing actually cost a ridiculous amount of resources. To put it frankly, God cultivators were people with money. Without money, they would have no choice but to choose the path of immortal cultivation. While the immortal cultivators looked down on God cultivators, God cultivators also looked down on immortal cultivators, mocking them for being poor. Thus, it was rare for any faction to have friendly relations between the immortal cultivators and the God cultivators. Of course, there were those who walked both paths of cultivation. This required both money and comprehension skills. Not only did they need to train in divine abilities and secret arts, but they were also required to use immortal arts to comprehend the heavenly deos. A person simply didn't have enough time and energy to train in both paths. So most people who started on this path gave up and chose only one to continue. Training in both paths naturally made a person stronger, but with such a slow rate of progression. Who would give you time to grow in this world full of strife and danger? Such people were picked off while they were still weak. Thus, the first rule of cultivation was to first choose one path to guarantee that you wouldn't be crushed by others. While it was possible to train as both a god and immortal, only a few people chose that option. The Immortal Institute's disciples felt scorn for Chu Kuang when they saw that he was already gathering faith energy, but they were also envious. It could be said that Chu Kuang was created out of money. At this moment, divine energy exploded out of Chu Kuang, forcing Long Chen back. Their bodies resurfaced. Chu Kuang was surrounded by divine flames, seemingly possessing endless power. Seeing this, Luo Ning clenched her fists and her teeth. Chu Kuang's path has long since been paved for him. Everyone was tricked. He has hidden himself far too deeply through this battle. Luo Ning understood what a true schemer was. Before the battle in the lava cave, they had all believed that Chu Kuang's power was only slightly greater than theirs. After that battle, both Luo Ning and Luo Bing learned that the difference was actually far larger. 
But then Long Chen's medicinal pills had allowed their bloodlines to undergo spiritual awakening, causing them to grow far stronger. With their confidence raised, they had thought that they would be able to fight him evenly at the very least. However, Long Chen was now forcing one trump card after another out of Chu Kuang. Every single one of those trump cards was shocking, and even this faith energy was used. Only now did both sisters realize just how foolish they had been. Not everyone was tricked. Long Chen was able to see through him. Whether it is in terms of power, vision, methods, or scheming, there's no way for us to compare to him. Sighed Luo Bing. When the battle first began, she was worried about Long Chen. But as the battle progressed, she saw that his expression remained as calm as ever. It was an expression of victory already being in grasp. Even now that Chu Kuang was displaying even more shocking trump cards, she no longer felt as much shock as before. Instead, she was admiring Long Chen even more. This fellow that was even younger than her could only be called a monster. Big sis, you should consider having him marry into the Luo family, whispered Luo Ning into Luo Bing's ear. Luo Bing instantly blushed and glared at her before continuing to watch the battle. Chu Kuang's aura continued to force Long Chen further and further back. He then smiled sinisterly. Long Chen, I have 191 mortal worlds with my Tao doctrine in them. I have 5,763 divine statues, as well as countless followers. Their faith energy is the source of my power, making my power endless. What will you use to fight me? At that moment, he seemed to have become a heavenly god, an unrivaled existence. Are all liars so proud of themselves? Will they just openly flaunt their ability to trick others? What will I use to fight you? What a joke. External power is external. What is there to be proud of? Today, I'll show you that only the power that belongs to you is your actual power. As Long Chen formed hand seals, the 108,000 stars in his star diagram blazed with light. Their power poured into him. Chu Kuang's body, which was slowly rising was suddenly smashed back into the earth. Boom. With this one stamp of his foot, Long Chen left a bottomless hole in the ground. Chapter 2928 Terrifying figure The stars behind Long Chen's back shone brightly. It was as if an entire cosmos was on his back. The stars revolved with supreme might. At the bottom of that cosmos was Long Chen in his black robes. His gaze was like that of a ruler, so imposing that others didn't dare to look directly at him. With the support of the star diagram, the mysterious feeling around him, and the way he crushed the indomitable Chu Kuang beneath his foot, it caused countless maidens to feel a rush of emotions. Bastard, that starry river of the sky art is a forbidden technique. Who permitted him to train in it? Roared Chu Huiiren. Chu Huiiren was clearly starting to panic. He no longer had his old, calm confidence and was growing more and more uneasy. Long Chen was like a bottomless well. All kinds of trump cards were pouring out of him. Chu Huiiren had also heard of the starry river of the sky art, and he knew about its terror. Since he had no idea how Long Chen had managed to successfully train in it, in his fury, he directly demanded who had responsibility over this. It was me. What about it? Suddenly, from an unremarkable seat, an old man in gray robes and a bamboo hat spoke up. Institute head. Countless people cried out in shock. That elder was the head of the Immortal Institute, and he had also run over here to watch at some point. No one had noticed him before, for even the Institute had to personally come to watch some little competition between Outer Academy disciples. It was practically inconceivable. Chu Huiiren had not expected him to appear here, although he was one of the three heads of the Discipline Institute. In terms of status, he was still a level lower than the head of the Immortal Institute. He could only thicken his skin and say, Long Chen is an Outer Academy disciple. He isn't qualified to train in a forbidden technique. Don't you think giving him this technique is unfair? The Institute head slowly took off his hat, revealing a thin face. He had a white beard and white eyebrows. The wrinkles on his face were plenty and deep. Despite that, his gaze was extremely sharp, giving off a domineering and stubborn feeling. Aren't you stretching the realm of your authority? Is the Discipline Institute planning on telling my Immortal Institute how to raise our disciples? Rules are rules. If a disciple wishes to read a forbidden technique, then the Institute head will evaluate whether or not they are allowed to. 
Based on individual circumstances, the Academy raises its disciples with an emphasis on teaching each disciple what they need on an individual basis. Are you saying that I need to ask for your permission when I teach my disciples? Asked the Institute head frostily, not giving Chu Hu iron any face. Those familiar with the Institute head knew that he was an extremely strict and straightforward person. Moreover, he was always serious and rarely appeared in public. Even some elders that had been in the academy for decades didn't know what he looked like. Chu Huan Iron was left speechless. He might be one of the three heads of the Discipline Institute, but that left him with only a third of the authority. He truly wasn't in charge of whether or not Long Chen could cultivate the starry river of the sky art. Even if the Institute head had given this technique to Long Chen for selfish reasons, it would not be up to him to criticize Long Chen. Since this was the case, his expression sank, and he could only sit back down. The head judge couldn't help having a small smile surfaced on his face. Chu Huan was starting to panic and had run himself right into the tip of a spear. The head of the Immortal Institute was famed for his temper. He wouldn't give any face to someone accusing him of something. Are you incubating an egg down there? Don't secretly accumulate energy. I know you have more trump cards. Use them all. I won't interrupt you. Just at this moment, Long Chen's voice rang out in everyone's ears, startling them. They hastily pulled their gaze from Chu Huan Iron's panicked expression and looked at the battlefield. Long Chen was actually floating in the air, with the star diagram behind him. Ripples appeared around him, letting him stay in the air. He was currently looking down at a large hole in the ground, his hands clasped behind him. After waiting and waiting, he finally spoke up. Suddenly, chanting could be heard coming from down below. After that, a terrifying aura rose out of the giant hole, and Chu Kuang's figure flew out of the ground. This aura, at this moment, even the head of the Immortal Institute was shocked. The head judge exclaimed, He's receiving God energy? Chu Kuang actually has a god he worships faith energy could go both ways. From the lower world, believers could pass this energy through the divine statues with a god's mark in them. But it could also go the other way. A believer could receive a trace of the god's power. Chu Kuang was still suppressed even after receiving his faith energy. And now he was receiving god energy as a believer. This aura was something that made even those on the level of the head judge feel palpitations. Although that power was nothing to them, it was the aura contained within that power that made them nervous. It meant that whoever it was that Chu Kuang believed in, it was an incredibly terrifying figure. At this moment, the four balls of light behind Chu Kuang formed a square space, and within it was an illusory figure. That terrifying aura came from this figure. What is that? This time, even Luo Bing was shocked. This four divine beast golden body of Chu Kuang's was completely different from what she knew of. The Luo family did not have records of this kind of divine ability. Some kind of divine energy thrummed within Chu Kuang's body, and this supreme god's might made the world quiver. Chu Kuang's aura was now completely different from before. Long Chen, kneel and face your death. Chu Kuang's voice echoed through the air. It was like an imperial edict, one that made everyone submit. Everyone watching was stunned. How was it that Chu Kuang had become so terrifying? Let alone divine flame disciples. Even four peak elders were horrified. This aura made them want to flee. It was an instinctual reverence from their souls. Naturally, what they felt reverence for wasn't Chu Kuang, but that aura coming from the figure behind him. That figure was extremely hazy. It could only vaguely be seen to be human, but no further details could be seen. Even so, it was still absolutely terrifying. However, Long Chen's pupils shrank, and his eyes instantly turned red. The name of that figure roared through his mind. Lord Brahma.